I think it's fixed now. Am I good? All right. Weird. I don't know if you guys saw me, but I actually just went live like five minutes ago. And my internet was just dead for some reason. Yeah, I was live, but it said I had like 500 kbps. I don't know what happened. Weird. Strange. What is this? I came here for Takeshi's castle. What's that? Never heard of that. Is that one of your animes? MXC? No, that's... That's a different show. Tony, can I get a black on black panda flat brim cap I can actually wear in NYC without getting beat up? This will get you beat up? Oh, because they want the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't know. We don't release ugly stuff. Oh my god, I got a new unbanned request. I don't know. We don't release ugly stuff. What? Oh my god, I got a new unbanned request. I clicked on the unbanned request and now my audio is doing... How do I turn this off? How do I turn this off? Request and now my audio is do How do I turn this off? Request and now my Okay. <laughs> I had to turn off all of chat. I don't know how that happened. I clicked on one little thing. <laughs> I clicked on one thing for the unbam request and then that happened. the black on black the flat brim is ugly what do you mean flat brim i don't wear flat brim. you mean snapbacks i don't wear flat brims i bend them on purpose i bend that shit i know you do white guy yeah flat brims are weird dude like who thought this was cool? Not me. This is cool to you. <laughs> this looks cool to you? Really? As straight as an airplane's wing. Now I'm a musketeer. I'm Paul Revere now. There. This is cool, huh? This is what the kids are into? Am I with it now? slowly unfolding. I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't like this at all. I'm missing the tag. I think it came with the tag and I ripped it off because I'm a grown-up. Why would you want the tag? Do you need to verify that it's real? Why is that the status? I, I'm such a fucking... Oh my god. Listen to me. Ugh. 
stupid. It's not white guy style, so it's cool. I think white guys are pretty cool. I shouldn't say that. I'm one step away from getting in trouble. Stop ruining your hat? Bro, I could get as many of these hats as I wanted. Are you kidding me? I'll get as many of these as I want. All I have to do is ask. Demand. Say, give me that. Welcome, everybody. Tonight, it's a little bit of story time. And then, there's a new game that came out that is right up my alley. I'm very excited. It's a brand new game that came out today. Today. A game came out. It's not Pikmin Bloom, and it's not Popeye. Popeye is tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I am playing Popeye Hello, tomorrow. Mr. Zeeks. I was recently viewing your dark pictures VOD. Good, your good video. Good VOD. To infuriate both me and that the game chat. was pretty fun. Keep up the good work. That game was he pretty fun. He will never increase minimum dono. And hey, if you uh, if you guys got annoyed with how I played dark pictures the other night, stick around for tonight, and maybe you can be the director. Mmm, what are we playing beaver game again when they s send me more money to play it? I have 50 fucking bounties for legends of rune Terra. I'm not gonna play that If they keep sending me money to play this damn beaver game, then I'll do it I'm so sick of it Where's the cookie run bounty again? I would run cookie run so fast in a goddamn heartbeat. It's so easy. That's why I love uh, I love Shadow Raid Legends bounties too. Although those are harder because they're two hours long. Bullshitting for two hours is tougher than bullshitting for one hour. Can I do the bounty on your stream? This month is expensive. What, Runeterra? If you can maintain 500, maybe. Welcome, everybody. Can you stream the perspective of somebody streaming it through Discord? I don't know. That's probably technically not allowed, but I don't know who would stop me. Like, who would care, you know? How would they even know? Or would they even notice? I feel like they wouldn't care. Just super delayed reactions. Dude, do you remember? What was the thing? What? Wait, Ak Akadak is staff now? When did you become staff? What? Congratulations! Oh no, now I have to be proper. No more cursing. No more cursing. Bro, Ak, can you stick around? Because, like, the last few streams, somebody's been dropping Nazi flex in my chat. And I don't know where. I've hit that point on Twitch, I think. I think as soon as you're above 1k subs, or 1k viewers, it's just, send it. Bots, fly in. We had staff in chat yesterday? Yeah, but that's Fats. Fats doesn't count. I trust your mod team. I don't, actually. I have staff things to do. Okay, yeah. Fats doesn't count because Fats and I have been friends for years and years before he was staff. I'm not using him for his staff powers, you know? I was happy to see a new Among Us cock drop. Dude, it was just J's for me. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It was just J's flying up the chat. I was like, oh, that guy's just spamming letters. That's weird. Finally, we'll stop hearing about how much Coney wants Rockstar to put the Confederate flag back in GTA 3. Never. I'm fighting for my rights. Honestly, bro, it's just heritage. It's just... 
Come on, guys. It's a product of the times. Bro, you're an MD. I know. I know. Dude, you know what's crazy? I am so excited to play Vice City. I don't care that it looks like shit. I'm happy that it looks like shit. I'm so happy. I've been wanting to play Vice City forever, dude. I played San Andreas, and I, I almost beat it. And then I got to that helicopter mission with uh, David Cross. Hate that one. Quit playing there. Didn't you say it would get boring to play it? Yes. But I now have an excuse to. See, here's the thing. I can't just come on and play an old game on Twitch in for no reason. It, there has to be a reason. And it getting re-released is as good of a reason as any. Alright, guys. I'm about to send the tweet. Are you ready? Alright. This image is so stupid. The San Andreas helicopter missions. Yeah, I, I hated them. song Alright, tweets out, boost it <laughs> Ignore <laughs> I wonder if anybody gets The Thelma and Louise ending Right? Nobody knows Nobody knows what the fuck this is Send it, send it Boost it, boost it, boost it Nobody knows what that is I don't know what song this is, but... Oh, it's Chibi Robo? Skip. These are all Japanese games. This is supposed to be niche and obscure music, but it's all Japanese. But, like, I guess... Kind of. Is this a funny Photoshop story or a lazy one? A little bit of both. Okay. Hey, Kony. Glad to hear that you are so supportive Hold of our on. cause and our No, heritage. dude. So many Much new love. people just came in off the tweet. No, they don't get the context. You should have donated that 10 minutes ago. Now I'm going to get in trouble. I don't... That's a joke. It's not real. No, 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 no. It was joking. It was joking, you guys! I didn't mean it! <laughs> While Steph is here, too? Come on! Not in front of the parents. Tony says, fellas with a hard R. I'm scared to even say it like that. I feel like it's going to sound bad. You know what I mean? Like, it'll just sound... Don't even type it. Don't even type it. Don't type that. Don't type that. Tony, why do your thumbnails look like you're high? Ask Vince. Send it to my, to my uh, marketing department. You remember that time that we had like five thumbnails in a row with the and then we have five thumbnails in a row with the, with the crying f <laughs> but it works dude web surf went out today one out of ten web surf banged today and i know it's just because of the thumbnail 
the stupid meme thumbnail and title, but it... I don't know how. Web Surf did well. Crazy. I don't understand how. Kind of weird when web, web Surf does good, you know? Friday is React Wars, so be ready for that. Why does Twitter tell me when somebody private quote retweets? You shouldn't be allowed to do that. Just don't tell me. It's not even like I think somebody's being mean. I'm just curious now. I'm just like, what? What could that be? It's the dislike button. Ah. Dude! I saw that now you can get super follows. And on the video where they said, this is how you would use super follows, it was like somebody was like, this isn't something I would ever tweet on my main account, but here's some beef with me and another person to my super followers. You're, you're just gonna screenshot that and send it to the person. Who isn't gonna do that? Private accounts are a fucking scam. You know how easy it is to, to screenshot your screen? They're making it easier every day. Why would you ever put anything on the internet that you don't want other people to see? Silly. Yeah, but you can scam the people who have to screenshot. Uh, for like a day. <laughs> for like one day. And then you have a leak of all of the things that you've tweeted under that name. I'll get an NFT of my tweets. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dude, hold on. Before we get started, hold on. <laughs> Never mind, I'll show you later. <laughs> One of my favorite tweets I've ever made came back up in my thing. I don't know how, I don't know why somebody saw it, but it's about me ranking what Smash characters have the most teeth. I fucking love that tweet. It's so funny. I'll show you later. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's funny. It's a good time. It's a good time. Which Smash character is the least teeth? Pichu. And Kirby. P Kirby has no teeth. And Pichu is a baby. Roy has zero teeth? No, he definitely has teeth. He's just not showing them. Rob? Rob has teeth... Stand-ins. Teeth substitutes. Let me look at Rob. There's something on him that I'm thinking of that look like teeth. It's... The... Uh... The... Fucking, uh, two teeth. Two teeth, right here. One, two. <laughs> he has two big front teeth. You see? Yoshi has teeth. Yoshi definitely has teeth. See? From IGN Southeast Asia. <laughs> Bro, this reminds me. Where does Yoshi's brain go? You ever think of that? <laughs> what is this? Where does Yoshi's brain go? Oh, God. Rob. <laughs> like, where could it go here, you know? The brain is the saddle, you think? Nose, right? That's what I think. Yeah. Right? It's like this a skull right Rob there. Bites down when playing stack up or spinning top. Yeah, he does. He, uh, he chomps. 
That's how he holds things in place. They say you resemble who you mean. Anybody that says that is stupid. I hate that. It's like the whole dog owners look like they're dogs. Like, yeah, if you want them to. Like a dog. Yeah, like a dog. See? Okay. You guys want to hear a story? So the person who who private quote retweeted sent me what they private quote retweeted and it doesn't make any goddamn sense. But thank you for telling me. <laughs> I I don't know why you did that. Show it. Hold on. Try not to get the ad in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why? Why that? What's going on? Why that one? You could have made that one public. That's just for you, huh? You're the only person that you want to be able to see that? Don't want to share that with the world? Okay. Okay. You guys ready? This one, I think, is going to be a little bit shorter. Um, some of the story times that I put together, I think, are going to be like 10, 15 minutes, and then they end up being a fucking hour. So I'm trying to keep myself... I'm trying to keep myself within the realm. I'm not trying to go too long, okay? I'm trying to keep it concise here and work on it to, to tighten stuff up, Okay? Go off the rails two-hour story. I can't help myself sometimes. There's just so much to tell, you know? There's so many things. I had another story that I forgot. I just had it when I was on the way down. Son of a bitch. It'll come back to me. Thank you, PK Kirby. Okay. I'm turning off alerts. So, no donations. If you donate or you sub uh, for a little bit, it's not going to be in. Sorry. Just, I, I'm not, you can't hijack the video. Okay? Don't do that. Let's hear some more stories about teeth. Hmm. There was a brawl player at an MLG Dallas event, I think, whose tooth fell out during the middle of a set. He was on the run of his life. He's a Sonic player. And in the middle of his set, right after he won, he spit out his own tooth. This isn't a joke. Was he like 11? No. He was an adult. Bullshit. Swear to God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Was he okay? Yes. It was just he... I think he, he had a te uh, tooth falling out or something. I don't know what was wrong with it. I can't believe you responded to that comment, but thank you. You know what? I appreciate the prompts. I can think of stories quicker if I have a prompt about it. Otherwise, it's just a mishmash of 10 years of experiences. That was X, wasn't it? No, it was the other one. The other Brawl Sonic. There were two. Three? Two. Did he win the tourney? No, he was playing Sonic. <laughs> no. Stinkiest Smasher ever encountered. I can't tell you that because they're famous. And it would be mean. Do you have any feet stories? Sort of. This uh, this actually has to do with a video that I'm making soon, but there is a player named Ook from Chicago, Illinois. 
that played Donkey Kong and he used to walk barefoot in the Chicago snow. 12 inches of snow. He would walk around like a fucking mountain man out in the wilderness. Swear to God. Swear to God. Not making these up. This happened. Truly. Okay. Okay. I love this song. Let's play it. You guys ready? Help me out with this intro. Top five favorite bird. Nene Goose, Owls, Kookaburra. There was another one. Duck? Ducks? What was the last one? No, there was one that we've seen. Not Cassowary. There was another one. Hawks? No, there was another one in an earlier video. Like for React Wars. I don't remember. Not Penguins. Not Crows. I don't remember. Ray? Raya? I don't think that's it. Whatever. I have a Moa. <laughs> like the burger. <laughs> I don't remember. Kevin. <laughs> that's funny. All right. Let's get started. I love this song. Fellas, I've been in the game a lot. I always start videos like this. Let me switch it up. Fellas, 10 years of Smash. Endless stories. Endless story times. I have so many things I could share with you. So many things to tell you. Uh, but this one is a little different. So, I've said before how many stories that I have that have left me somewhat uncomfortable. Maybe a little anxious. Maybe a little worried about the future. Uh, but this is the only one where I almost died. And there isn't an exaggeration here. I almost died. And it was the result of my own actions. I nearly died at a tournament about 10 or so years ago. Would you like to hear me tell the story? Chat? They all said yes. That's great, because I'm going to. This is the story of how I almost died rigging a Super Smash Brothers tournament. Nobody's gonna get this, that what I put on the screen. Nobody's gonna understand what this is. <laughs> nobody, nobody even knows what, what's happening here. It's the end of a movie that was really famous when, before you all were born, okay? It was a long time ago. Okay. Our story begins, as it so often does, with... An introduction of the ensemble cast. What's important here is I need you to know who all of these people are, okay? I don't normally do this, but I need you to know everybody in this story, and we need to introduce them up front, okay? Now, I will tell you, in this story, the names have been changed to protect the innocent, okay? I'm not going to tell you who these people are, because I don't want you harassing them and bugging them. So all of these names have been changed. So, the first person, let's say, is Brainy, okay? He's a smart guy, very good player in Smash. Uh, is a little bit full of himself, but is very talented, and he's a good friend, okay? Second person, let's say, is Spike. Spike is, um, very good at Smash. Um... We'll have more to say about Spike later. Just know that Spike is in this story, okay? I'll tell you a little bit more about Spike later. Next up is someone who we're gonna call Sleepy. Sleepy is in this story. You might find out why by the end, okay? <laughs> and then the last person that I need you to know is Madman. Madman is named this not because he rages or he's especially angry, but he's a pretty suave dude, and um, he's going to have uh, quite a story arc by the end of this story, okay? So these are our four players, and of course, me. I'm here too. I'm your guide along this journey. So just keep in mind, these four people are the real players on stage in this, uh, in, in this production, okay? 
So, it was a fine spring day on Smashboards.com. For you see, there were tournament listings everywhere. Events were starting back up as the weather started to get better. So many tournaments here, and I was sitting around trying to make some money on a weekend where I was free. I wasn't busy. If you have seen the other video, hey, go ahead. If you, if you haven't seen the other one, go ahead and click this. There's a video about sniping tournaments and what that was like, the culture of it. I beat up some kids at their... I didn't beat them up. I beat some kids at Smash Brothers on their birthday. One kid, but I beat a bunch of people for him. On, I made a lot of money. So... You would basically go on here and you would snipe tournaments, right? So I went down and I was looking for tournaments, trying to find somewhere to go over the weekend. And then I saw it. Enhance. I said enhance. What's this? Gamers Paradise North Carolina Brawl Tournament $500 pop bonus. $500, you say? Ho, 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 That's quite a payout. Now, keep in mind, this $500 pop bonus is split between, like, eight people. First place couldn't have gotten more than, like, 250 bucks. And it's North Carolina, so there's probably not that many people going. But I saw $500, and I said, yes, please. I wonder how far this North Carolina tournament is from me, and if it's worth going. Let's take a look. Five hours and 12 minutes for a tournament where I may win $300. Hell yeah, that's worth it. Absolutely. That is the biggest payout of my life. I get to play video games and make money over a weekend? Absolutely. So I tell some people about it. I find out interest all around. I, I see if anybody wants to go. It's like 300 miles away. That's nothing. And I get a few people in on it who also want to snipe this tournament. One thing that you guys got to understand, North Carolina Brawl was free. Oh my God, they were so free. It was, you could, you could take money from them without even trying. They would give it to you. And they would money match you out the wazoo. Please, would you give me some matchup experience? Oh yeah, sure, kid. Five bucks a pop. Boom, boom, boom. You would have a full tank of gas in half an hour. Amazing. It was so easy to stomp North Carolina. So we were all positive that we would do well. So, we all get together. Sleepy, in the front seat. He's the guy that owns the car. He's the driver on this excursion. Brainy is along for the ride as well. And of course, there's me in the back seat. I'm here too. And we get set out on a fun-filled day, a little bit of a road trip, ending in Super Smash Brothers. We left at like, I don't know, 6 a.m., 5 a.m., so we could get there before noon, before the tournament started, okay? So, we, this eclectic group of people, arrive in North Carolina, mostly no worse for wear, you know? We stopped a few times for gas, took a little bit longer, but we got there on time and it was fine, okay? And this is generally what the college tournament looks like. If you guys haven't been to a college tournament, this is just kind of what it uh, it is. It's uh, it, it's like a room that's set up in either a classroom or like a side thing. A bunch of sweaty dudes playing. No more than 30 people. Not many people at all. So this is uh, the University of North Carolina. And of course, all three of us roll up together. And enter the room. Hello, everybody. And as we enter the room, we're getting some whispers. Oh, my God. MDVA's here. Oh, MDVA came. Yo, they're pretty. I don't care about Sleepy. Sleepy's not very good. But the other two. Oh, shit. MDVA showed up. We got to get ready. We start scoping out and looking around. Okay? And in the back of the room, we see a couple people. One of them is Madman. Madman is playing on a CRT right here. Now, I did not give you this context before. Madman is number one in North Carolina, or at least he should be. He's a very, very good player in North Carolina. Uh, doesn't really travel much, but everybody knows he's very talented, okay? Very good player. 
But also, in the back of the room, is Spike. Why did Spike go over here? Let's do this again. Cut that from the video. Also, in the back of the room, is Spike. Now, one thing I didn't tell you about Spike. Spike is also from MDVA. Spike is very good. And Spike didn't tell anybody he was coming to this. He told nobody that he would be here. He tried to snipe this alone. Which means he probably saw all of us talking and he decided to come here on his own. Nobody came with him. He drove all this way alone. Five hours. But whatever. We see Spike here. But I'll tell you, Spike is not happy to see us. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay? Just know that Spike is a little peeved that we showed up. So everybody starts talking. We're doing our pleasantries, right? We're all figuring it out. Oh, pretend like you didn't see this. <laughs> Why did that happen? Okay. So we have a bracket right here. Everybody starts getting put together, okay? <laughs> don't, don't, okay. The YouTube won't see that. YouTube won't see that. I swear I set it up right. YouTube won't see it. Okay. So they start putting everything together, and we have a bracket here, okay? Now, there were probably like 30, 40-something people. Not a crazy amount. But let's pretend there's a 16-person bracket, okay? So let's go down the line. Brainy is first seed. He's the best player in our region, and he showed up out of nowhere, and we know he's good. Spike is second seed. He's a very good player from our region. Better than pretty much anybody except Brainy. But not quite on Brainy's level. So they expect them to meet in a winner's finals, right? I'm the third seed down here. Because I'm the third best person at the tournament. Allegedly. That's what people think. And then Madman is the fourth best. He's number one in his state. But I think they realize that North Carolina isn't quite at the same level of MDVA. So he's the fourth seed for this event. They expect him to lose to Brainy, but then come back later. Okay? Okay. And Sleepy uh, gave us a ride to the tournament, which is very good of him. Thank you so much, Sleepy, for helping us here. Sleepy is the uh, the ride seat. He did a great job getting us to this tournament safely. Good, Thank you, Sleepy. You need a Sleepy. It's very important to have somebody who's able to do that. That's very nice. Now, I should have said this before. Sleepy is not a top player. He's good he's pretty good but he plays a mid tier and he's just not quite at that level so he's expected to go against spike in just a little bit okay so this is how the bracket is set up for the day so hold on one second let me make sure that it's not gonna get killed i think we're good okay this okay i think we're set up for the rest i don't want to give anything away cut back so, the first round of tournament starts. Everybody starts playing. Everything goes off without a hitch. Brainy wins first round. Madman wins his round. Spike wins his round. Sleepy wins his round. I win my round. Everything's fine. This is exactly how the bracket is supposed to go. And sorry I didn't fill in the rest of the bracket. It just would have confused you. I don't expect you to be able to keep track of all these people. Just look at these five, okay? After the first round, everything is exactly as it should be. Then we have the second round. Now, what you may notice out of these results, Brainy continues on in winners. Spike has defeated Sleepy, which is just so unfortunate. Sleepy is now out of winner's bracket. But what's more important, Madman has fallen, okay? Madman loses to somebody in his region. This is a North Carolina player. He lost to somebody, it was an upset, seed 13, whatever. He lost to some guy that wasn't supposed to beat him, right? Batman is now in loser's bracket. We'll find out more from him later. Keep in mind, he's not out of the tournament. Don't worry, everybody. Hold your horses. He's going to come back. But for now, let's focus on what's happening down here. For you see, I am now matched up with Spike. This is kind of a big deal. So, me and Spike usually go about 50-50, alright? Uh, sometimes he wins, sometimes I win. Just depends on who's playing better that day. It's a pretty back-and-forth matchup. 
But Spike and I have something of a rivalry, okay? Because he said some mean things about me, and it motivated me to get better. Now, it was all just friendly beef. It was all just, you know, it was never anything toxic or anything. But he had some choice words. And I took those to heart, right? So we have to play now. So we both sit down to play. Here we are in front of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, as you can see. And we do the strikes and bans and everything like that. I choose my weapon of choice, of course. King DDD, obviously. And he chooses... Oh, I don't know. Let's pick a random character. Uh, Kirby. He plays Kirby. So we play our match, right? We go back and forth. We're fighting. Okay? Uh, did I... Oh, I think I messed up something there. Don't show that. We have a bit of a fight back and forth, okay? And eventually, I win the first game. Spike starts telling me, Hey, man, I'm really hungry. Can I go get some food? No. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm just so hungry. Can I go eat before we play our next match? I'll be able to eat just really quick. Can I just go eat a burger? No. You're sitting here, and we're finishing this set. Fine. I end up winning the set. I won the whole set, and I knock Spike into loser's bracket. Again, it could have gone either way. I was just the better player on that day, okay? So I defeat Spike to move on in the tournament. Which is delightful, because as you can see here, now we have our winner's finals. Look at this. Brainy versus Coney. Amazing. Wow. This is the matchup we wanted. Remember, we rode together, and we wanted to snipe this tournament out. This was the whole point of us coming together, was to be able to meet in winner's finals. But then I have... an idea. <laughs> you see, there's a pot bonus at this tournament. Which means that one of us is going to make a lot of money, but the other guy isn't going to make a lot of money. So I have an ingenious idea. I get Brainy to meet me in an undisclosed location in the dark. I say, hey Brainy, let's cheat. <laughs> Essentially, what I want to do is say that I beat Brainy. Here's the thing, look at the bracket again. I defeated Spike, right? The thing is, I go 50-50 with Spike. Me beating Spike, that's a coin flip. We don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But what I haven't told you is that Brainy shits on Spike. Dumpsters him. The matchup between Brainy and Spike is like 95-5. Spike has not beaten Brainy in three years. So I'm like... <laughs> Oh, Brainy, have I got an opportunity for you. I say, Brainy, you let me win. You let me move on. We're going to say that we played, and we're going to say that I beat you. I could beat Brainy. Here's the thing. He wins 70% of matchups, or matches that we have. He wins most of the time. It's harder for me to win, but I can do it. So it's not, like, totally implausible. I've beaten him before. And Brainy, to his credit, says no. See, Brainy is something of a... Of a, of a cringe moral guy, you know? He believes in the heart of competition and uh, better player persevering and all that bullshit. Oh, it's important to play your... I don't know. He watches a lot of anime, I guess. It's weird. I think, like, Gurren Lagan was really big back then, or something. He's that kind of guy, right? So he says no. He won't do this with me. I'm like, dude, we rode together. You don't understand. One of us is going to leave with so much money, and the other one's going to be so sad. Brainy. Please. And after a couple minutes of whittling down, Brainy says... 
Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. So now Brainy is waiting in the loser's bracket. I'm now in grands. I have, for the record, defeated Brainy in combat. That's what everybody else thinks. What I've told Brainy is that, hey, if we split, we'll split the money at the end. You wait, you wait in losers. You play the guy. We'll split, and we'll say that you won the tournament. You beat me in two sets at the end. I'll give you first place at the tournament, but you and I will split the money. He's down for this idea. Okay? So, uh... <laughs> our plan goes off without a hitch, right? I defeat Brainy, and no one is the wiser. Coney wins! Coney wins winner's finals. Coney is now sitting in grands, awaiting his opponent. Which is terrific. Has anyone checked on Sleepy? I don't know what Sleepy... Sleepy is probably playing friendlies. I don't know. Sleepy is in the corner playing friendly. He's probably fighting CPUs. He's trying to get better. So anyway. Now we have our loser's bracket ready. Spike and Madman have fought all the way up to loser semis. There's only four people left in the tournament. And we knew that they would. Madman, despite his early loss, has fought all the way back up. Now, the reason that we did this setup is because we were positive that Spike was going to make it to Brainy, and then Brainy was going to dump on Spike, okay? Spike gets third, Brainy gets second, and it works out exactly like the seeding said. However... That is not what happens today. Madman beats Spike in an unprecedented upset. Oh, shit. We've made a terrible error. I have no idea how Spike lost this to this day. There's no reason Spike should have lost this. Yeah, Madman is good, but Spike is nuts. Maybe he just didn't eat. Maybe he just didn't take any time to get ready for the next match, but Madman does something, and Madman comes out on top. And now, me and Brainy are in a bit of a pickle, right? Because, uh, Brainy has a shot of losing to Madman. However, I do not. You see, my character... Dumps on Madman. My character is like 95-5 with Madman. Madman could not defeat me. It doesn't matter how good he is. It doesn't matter how hot of a streak he's playing on. I would dump on Madman every day of the week. So how do we solve this quandary? Now we have jeopardized our splits. I have talked Brainy into a bad deal. He might get third at this tournament. And then him and I have to split second and third. Well, no, because I would have beaten Madman. But first and third. Oh, God. That's bad. So Brainy and I are panicking. We don't know what we're going to do. Madman, fresh off of his win against Spike, is just standing in the, in the room. Brainy and I find him, and we walk up, and we decide to come clean with the plot. We decide, hey, listen, we're just going to tell him exactly what happened. And hopefully he'll understand and we'll be able to figure this out. We said, uh... Hey, Madman, how's it going? How you doing? Congrats on beating Spike. Really proud of you, bro. That's a sick win. Wait, why do I have two of these? Should I have two of these? Oh, I should. Cut that. <laughs> okay, cut back in. Hey, man, really sick win. Congrats. Madman goes, huh? What? Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, ha I thought I would have a tough time, but I've really been working on that matchup. Listen, uh, Madman. We should probably go replay our set. What? What? <laughs> Why did I grab the whole thing? What do you mean, Coney? You guys just played your set, and it said that you beat Brainy. Which is terrific, because now I get to fight Brainy. Yeah, see, we didn't actually ever play. 
We just wrote that down to save time. We actually have to go play the set now. We thought that you were gonna lose to Spike. Madman is starting to live up to his namesake. I think you're bullshitting me! I think you guys did play! You're both boys from MDVA, and you just want Coney to be able to counterpick me in a matchup so you guys can split! I think you guys are in on it, and you're full of shit! Madman, listen! No, dude, this is not personal! Please listen to me! This has nothing to do with you! I'm so sorry, I'm not cheating! We did this not because of you, but because of Spike. Spike is an asshole. Spike keeps cheating in our region. He said such mean, nasty things to both of us. He's cheated people out of wins. We did this just to make sure he would lose. This only gets Madman more irate. How did this happen? You what? You defiled the sanctity of my competition? You came to my home state and decided to rig my bracket just so I wouldn't beat up your shitty friend? And he gestures to Brainy. You both know that I would fuck him up if we played, and that's why you're trying to get me to fight you. Because you're just going to chain grab me and play DDD, and I know that I would fuck him up. And now, Brainy's mad. Because Brainy is a very prideful player. I have not mentioned this yet. Brainy takes shit very seriously. What the fuck do you mean you would beat me in tournament? You wouldn't be able to lace my boots, you shit stain. You couldn't beat me. You've never beaten me. I don't lose to your character. Yeah, you beat Spike. Good shit. I'm really proud of you. You know he's like number four in our state. I've been number one for a fucking year. You can't step to me. These dudes are mad. And I'm over here. <laughs> watching this all transpire. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this anymore, right? Now they're just shit talking. And it seems as though I'm gonna get my way, you know? Because eventually these two are gonna play and I'm not at risk. However, I do feel very bad for Brainy who I've roped into this. So I'm just gonna sit over here in Grand Finals. Eventually, these two end up playing. And, uh, very quickly, <laughs> Madman gets shit on. <laughs> it's not close. Madman absolutely gets dumpstered. Madman gets destroyed by Brainy in a 3-0 in a blowout, and then we win the tournament. <laughs> That's it. We won. <laughs> we won. <laughs> I, I know there was a lot of buildup, but we won the tournament. That's it. Brainy pulls it out. Hooray for cheating. Yeah, we both walked out with maybe $200 each in our pockets. Congratulations to us two. Incredible. So the full results of the tournament means that I came in second, right? Brainy came in first. Uh, God, I have to remember their their titles for the sake of this thing. Madman in third, and Spike in fourth. Incredible tournament. Everybody had a great time, and everybody after the tournament chills out. We talk to Madman a little bit more. He understands. We tell him we really weren't trying to mess with you. It's not personal. We weren't trying to, like, mess with you or, like, trying to screw you over. It was really just to screw over Spike. Madman gets it, and we all go out to cookout. Yay! Cookout! If you've never been to Cookout, Cookout is delicious. Cookout is delightful. It is a uh, Atlantic South mainstay. You can get so much food there for like 20 bucks. It's basically Taco Bell, but for barbecue. Delicious. We don't have this in Maryland, so we all are there for a while. We're all talking in the, uh, in the parking lot. It's like 20 people, 25 people, drinking milkshakes, eating a bunch of burgers, whatever. But after some time, we realize uh, it's 2 a.m. We still have a five-hour drive home without traffic. Hmm. 
We should not have stayed this long. Now, we're all poor college students. We're not getting a hotel. I'm pretty sure that these guys had places to be the next day. So, there's no way we're staying in North Carolina tonight. So, we're going to go ahead and drive all the way home at 2 a.m. Keeping in mind, we started this journey at 7 a.m. the day before. So, we all pack back into the car. It's nighttime now. And everybody is feeling a little tired. Okay? Now, after about half an hour, I realized just how fatigued I am. The adrenaline is beginning to wear off. I've just gotten second at a tournament, but really first, because I was the, the guy behind the whole operation. I was able to con myself into this uh, grand final situation. I start to doze off. I'm going to go sleep. Good night. I'm laying down in the back seat. Now... We haven't heard much from Sleepy today, right? Why, we had to check on him earlier, and he was playing CPUs. This is where Sleepy becomes integral to the story. <laughs> For you see, there is a reason that we named him Sleepy. After a couple hours, Sleepy lives up to his namesake. And he dozes off on the road. We're on a major highway. And I don't really remember exactly what happened. I just remember waking up to this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Help! <laughs> oh my god! Jesus Christ! I'm telling you! Dude, we were dri- This was us! This was us! We're in the middle of the highway! Jesus Christ! Help! Help us! Sleepy, please wake up! Sleepy, please wake up! It was so bad. Sleepy was- he was out like a light. Wait, where's the clip? This is us. Are you ready? Look at this. Jesus Christ, Sleepy! And eventually, we end up like this. Backwards, facing the other direction on the highway. Okay? I never forgot the feeling that that gave me. If you've never been in a situation where you lose control of your car, like this, like, you're like this on the highway, okay? Like, literally sideways. There's something that washes over you. There's a sense of serenity as it's happening. And maybe it's just me, but I remember thinking, okay, I'm dead. And I'm okay with that. I've lived a fine life. I lived to 22. I'm, I'm gone. There's nothing I can do about this. Goodbye. And I just laid back in the seat. I accepted it. Now, we did end up living. The car was basically like this on the highway. But I will tell you, the front two tires are blown out. I tried to find you a picture of all four tires on a car being blown out. Hold on. But I couldn't find anything with all four tires. But I, I, I can show you this. It was like this on all of them. Do you see this? It was that. He was fishtailing like crazy, dude. When he woke up, he like swerved so hard and thank God there was nobody else on the road. It was like 6 a.m. I think. We were almost home. He made it four hours. What a trooper. I don't know. If only his gameplay was as good as his ability to stay awake on a long drive. He was able to make it so far despite being so tired. I will give it up to Sleepy. But all the tires popped just like this. It was like torn, right? So, 
We all get out of the car. We call Sleepy's mom. And we wait a couple hours on the side of the road. But I will tell you, this story does have a happy ending. Because I'm here to tell you about it now. At the end of the day, we all made it home safe. We were only about an hour away from home. It wasn't too bad. Sleepy's mom came to pick us up. They got it towed to the rest area or whatever. They got all the tires replaced. And we got home maybe $200 richer. Sleepy asked if we could give him some money to help pay for the tires on the way home. And we told him, yeah, absolutely. And then we didn't do it. Because we forgot. I think that's what happened anyway. That's so crazy. I think we forgot. Listen, Sleepy, if you're watching this and you know who you are, I, I'll, I got a hundred bucks for you, bro. My bad. My bad. I was poor back then. I didn't know. I think. I think I forgot. <laughs> Maybe I did pay him. <laughs> I don't know. Sleepy will never see this. Sleepy isn't around anymore. I think this spooked him. I don't know if he operates motor vehicles. So, now we've come to the end of our story. And you might be saying, Cody, what the hell was up with that last part? That had nothing to do with the rest of the story. You can't possibly think that you deciding to rig a bracket for your own advantage has anything to do with your friend falling asleep while driving. And what I would say to you is maybe open up your mind a little. Be a little bit more open to new experiences. Try to understand that we are all here on this cosmic journey. Trying to make sense of our experiences. Perhaps it was karma on that day. Or perhaps Sleepy was just up for 24 hours and competed in a tournament and got his ass beat 300 miles from his house and had to go to bed. Who can say? All I know is that I appreciate you joining me on this journey. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Say goodbye, chat. Say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye. Bye! Yeah, yeah, chant it, chant it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Bye! Bye, YouTube! Goodbye! Good movie. That was fun. That was a good time. It's hard to come up with a structure for a tournament that's basically just bracket fuckery, you know? All we did was just break the, uh... We just broke the bracket for our advantage. Who were they? I can't tell you that. I'm trying to think of someone worse at protecting identities. You only know it because you were around for Brawl, dude. You were only around for Brawl. So you knew that. You knew who these people are. Nobody else knows. I'm not going to tell you guys who these people are. You can guess, but I'm not going to tell you. Okay? Was Madman a Peach player by any chance? Not as far as I know. Actually, he might be. He might have played Peach. I thought bracket rigging was a SoCal thing. Oh, God, no. We did it all the time. Dude, PM too. Oh, thank you, Smelly Stellify? Smelly. <laughs> Semi Stellify. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 10 gifted. I can't believe I just roasted you after the 10 gifted. That hurts. That hurts. Okay, now semi stellify. Thank you for the second chance. Dude, thank you for the second chance. Yeah, the first one was a warm up. The first one was just a warm up. The second one was real. Thank you so much, semi. <laughs> I should have just kept getting it wrong, actually, until you just gave me all of them. Till we hit 3k and then I'm just then I land it, you know. Thank you, semi. Listen, their identities will remain a mystery forever. I thought one of them might be in the chat tonight, but I guess not. I'm not going to tell you who they were. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> you didn't tell anyone to subscribe. I said at the end of the video. I said it at the end. Honestly, it doesn't even work. Yeah, so, uh, one of the players in this story 
said that they can't fall asleep in cars anymore after this experience. So, I think this did, like, lasting trauma. It's the most scared I've ever been. Seriously. And you know what's crazy? It is impossible to find, like, a video of a car swerving on the highway for a long period of time. I literally was looking for this for, like, half an hour. Like, I couldn't find it. I did the best I could. <laughs> but it was tough. Took a while. They all crash first. Yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. We didn't actually crash. We were okay, but... The moment probably just felt really long. Dude, it felt like a minute. It felt so long. Basically, what happened was he, uh, he fell asleep, and he woke up as he was drifting, and he sort of, you know, went the other way to try to save it. And then he just, like, careened. And his quick thinking saved us, but... A driver dozing off is the scariest thing. A friend dozed off and almost fell off a bridge. Man. Yeah, it was bad. Why were the tires fucked up? That's how hard he steered off. He put so much pressure on, like, the fish tailing back and forth, both of them popped. Because he, like, slammed them. It's just friction, like, sideways. It was bad. It was, it was god-awful, dude. He was trying to steer so hard. Yeah, so that was a nightmare. What was Brainy doing? Screaming. <laughs> I, you know what? When you're in that moment, you're not yelling. You're like this. Like, you're holding on, and you're not saying a fucking word. At least I'm not. I'm, I was, like, locked in. I think all of us were dead silent. It's not like the movies. Not like the movies at all. Freaky, dude. Brainy was calculating the car trajectory. He would. He would be that kind of guy, bro. Dude, yeah, I, I've i never been more afraid in my life. But we made it. We made it out. And thank God I didn't uh, do more to rig that bracket, because that could have gone much worse. Imagine if I outright lied at that tournament. Just a little bit of worse karma. If I went down the renegade path a little bit more, might not be here today. God smiled upon me that day. What year was that? 2010? 2011? Maybe 2009. Something like that. Something like that. 1915. Shut up. Was his mom mad? No. No, you gotta understand. Sleepy came from a pretty affluent family, I think. I think his family was just happy he was okay. He had good parents. He had very nice parents that were, like, still together and not divorced, which is embarrassing for him. But imagine not having two Christmases. <laughs> my parents being divorced is one of the best things about my childhood, bro. You know how many toys I got? Holy shit. Copium? <laughs> Shut up. I was... Dude, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. I actually talked about this on the podcast with, uh, with Alpharad. I was not old enough when my parents got divorced to care about it. I don't know about you guys. I, I was too young to really understand that they were even together. You know what I mean? So I was not affected. Phew! Dodged a bullet on that one. My parents divorced when I was 12. Okay, that'll fuck you up. My bad. That's when you're still finding out who you are. Like, your identity, you know? Oh, God. My parents divorced and gave me lifelong trauma. Oh, yeah, well... Ugh. <laughs> Maybe, uh... Man, I don't even have a joke for this one. My bad. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say, maybe be a better kid so they don't get the... That's not a good joke. That's not gonna... What happened to the podcast Twitter? I don't know. It's still suspended, I think. I think it's still suspended. I don't know why. Every time we log into it, it breaks. 
we were supposed to record more podcast episodes today, but we didn't get to. So. All I know is I got two birthdays and two Christmases. Podcast Twitter also divorced. There's a podcast? There sure is. You can find it on Spotify, uh, iTunes, and wherever the hell else. I don't remember. Stitcher, I think it's on. It's called How Did We Get Here? It's me and Alfred talking about dumb shit for an hour long. And people like it, which is nice. You guys like it? I'm happy to hear that. I want to leak the, uh, the future topics so bad, but I don't think we can. Cody, will you and Mal force it to work out for Juliet? Listen, if we're going to split up, we got to do it soon, right? Because she's about to be two next month. So, chop, chop, you know? We got to do it quick. <laughs> if she hits five, we're locked in. You know what I mean? If she hits five, it's like, ah, shit, okay. Loveless marriage, I guess, you know? <laughs> oh, here we go. We have a new command. Podcast. There it is. Here you go, everybody. Perfect. Look at that. Right here. I haven't really told anybody about it because I am a little tiny baby man compared to Alpha Rad's reach. So I just assume people know about it. But in case you don't, check it out. Spotify, Apple, Amazon Music. Here's the uh, here's the tweet in case you want to see it. Check it out. It's fun. The podcast is great. Enjoy listening to it while I work. Yeah, we say kind of explicitly. Uh, if you're actually actively listening to this, you're probably listening to the podcast wrong. It's not active listening. <laughs> You're supposed to just put it on in the background and go about your day, you know? Just put it on and relax. Pretty fun movie. That was a good time. This one took a lot less effort. I'm trying to find the balance between the, uh... The big story times, like Evo, like the big, huge ones, and the smaller ones. This is a smaller one. Didn't quite take me as long to do. That Evo story time took me like six hours to put together. This one was like two or three, so. Project M stories are gonna bang. Which one? I don't even know what I have for Project M stories. Come to think of it. There's gotta be more. Didn't you throw up on commentary that one time? No. What are you talking about? When I ate the burger? I ate a whole McDonald's burger in one bite. I did do that. It was a McDouble. But I didn't throw up. I ate that thing like a bird. I opened up my gullet. Blah. Throat goat. Who drank too much water? That was Pooch. Pooch drank so much water. And that's when I found out about water poisoning. I didn't know that water could literally kill you. That's crazy to me. You could drink so much water, you die? Your body is like 80 billion percent water. Simply digest it. You know? It can? Yes! Isn't that insane? That's called drowning. No, 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 no. Drowning is when water gets in your lungs. Water is when water gets in your be- Water poisoning is when water gets in your belly. Water poisoning is the wackest way of dying. <laughs> I don't know if I would call any way of dying whack, right? Every death is noble in its own way. I watched so many videos of cars going out of control today, dude. Holy shit, you would not believe it. I searched so many times for this. Also, side note. Mario Picross music bangs. This music rules. It's so good. Oh my god. All right. Next up.
This is uh, bringing back an old segment that we used to do. And I'm happy to do it again. I spent 10 straight hours playing Mario Picross and my roommate punched me. Dude, last winter is one of the coolest times of my life. I played Mario Picross every night, watched Breaking Bad on my second monitor, and just vibed the fuck out. It would just be like 4 a.m. and I'm just watching Breaking Bad, playing Mario Picross, and listening for my baby. Seeing if she's gonna wake up. Because I had to watch her. That's so chill. Dude, it was mad cozy. It was so good. Alright. Samir watch party? No. No, no. No Samir tonight. Tomorrow's stream is probably gonna be Popeye and then some Mario Party. I believe. I had an idea for Mario Party content, but it didn't quite work out. Because of the way that the game works. But I still might do something similar. We'll see. <clears throat> Go for 250 stickers used. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe... Hold on, let's check up on that tweet. One second. Look at this fucking tweet, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Somebody found the teeth tweet? It literally just got retweeted. Who did that? Who found it? I have a very specific favorite type of TikTok. And it's this one. I fucking love this kind of TikTok. Like, like, wholesome family TikTok fucking kills me, dude. Rational. This is me with the Twitch groupies. I'm better than her. Be gone. I do it all for my lady. Yup. <laughs> I love destroying the problems, Rock. That tempting 3%. I love this video so much. If I could just get TikToks like this, I would react to them all day. I fucking love TikToks if it's of a certain type. I love it. This is no joke. So my basement is obviously downstairs. Mallory's upstairs with Juliet most of the day. This is how I feel when I go downstairs to go to work. This, this literally has entered my mind. Like, randomly, like three times a month, this will happen. And I go downstairs for like a 10 a.m. panda meeting. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> Gotta make the content plan for this week. Hmm, this week I'm gonna bait Smash Twitter into thinking that I hate Marth. You know? But it works. It gets diamonds. By the way, the reason that I came here initially... Look at this shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro! Hell yeah, bro! That's how you do it! We call this influence! This is maximum influence, bro! You know what it is? Honestly, it's the fucking image. This image is transcendent. This is the perfect image for what I'm trying to convey. I love this so much. That's real? Yes. Yes. Whoever uses the most stickers in a Mario Party game can get a bonus star. Not always. Not always. It's random which one comes up, but you can get it. So you better get to spamming those stickers. That's why everybody that you see online spams them. It's just in case. It's important. By the way, do you know what this image is from? It's actually funny because it's funnier with the full context. 
This is the full context. It's like a creepypasta. That's way scarier. What did Donald do? I don't remember, but this does... That does not look okay. Hold on. I accidentally killed it. I had to kill my monitor so you guys can't see what we're doing next. I don't know why I care. You're about to see it anyway. Yeah, what was Donald's crime? I think he stole money. He stole a dollar twenty-five from his nephews. <laughs> he stole one dollar and twenty-five cents from his nephews. Now, a dollar twenty-five in nineteen forty-five is actually—it's—it's it's kind of a lot, right? That's a lot back then. Inflation adjustment. All right, so nineteen forty-five. Let me see. Inflation cal okay. So one dollar forty five in nineteen forty five. Let's say January. Twenty bucks from children. Man, that's actually a lot. Cause like think about kids, they they don't get much money, you know? It's not like they work for a living. Yeesh. What an asshole. But at least he felt guilty about it. And look how broken up his kids are. <laughs> they can't believe it. Who's their dad? Do we know who their dad is? Dead? Are they orphans? Huh. I never really thought about it. I never realized how good this song is, too. This is so good. Why doesn't the DJ play this at Smash After Parties, bro? Put this on the floor. It's always the fucking Zelda theme. Duh, 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 duh. This is my shit, bro. Dude, so Bowser had some good themes in Mario Party. This is Mario Party 3. This one's good. Oh, man. I never realized how much I love Mario Party music. It's so good. Oh, this part? Oh, the breakdown. Oh, it's so smooth, dude! So good, dude. I fucking love Mario Party so much. Alright. You guys ready? Chat? Tonight, you get to do the hardest job in the world. Deja Vu by Dave Rogers is copyrighted. Oh, shit, really? Uh, shit. Um. Fuck. You could do it for like five seconds, right? No? Deja Vu. I am on the street. Deja Vu. I'll get Brian to TTS it. Okay. Damn it! That bit's gonna suck without the music. The meme was the only thing making it funny. All right. Maybe I can license it for $400. I don't think that video is going to do $400. That's not an Evo story time. This is a, uh, this is, this is uh this is, this is okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> All right. I can't believe that that one's, uh, damn. Make up new Evo story times? I have a couple. It's just a lot of effort, you know? I haven't had the time. 
Maybe it's MIDI. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Fellas, if you've been browsing this channel for any amount of time, you may have noticed I love movies. I'm a big fan of movies. And not just internet movies, actual films, motion pictures, not even just jokes. But a lot of you guys have been especially critical, of, especially these guys, whenever I make my decisions that I want to make when I make a movie. A lot of you guys say that I do the wrong thing, or you should have done this, Coney, make that joke, say that. Okay, wise guy, you're so smart, you make a fucking movie. Can I cuss in the first minute of YouTube? You're so smart, you make a fudging movie. No, actually, say fudge, but fu uh, freaking, but put it over the fuck. Like, ADR it. I found a game that just came out. It's called Bloodshore. Now, what's Bloodshore, you may ask? It just released today. It is an interactive movie film about a battle royale featuring streamers, influencers, internet people, e-celebs on an island fighting life or death scenario. Welcome to the 13th season of Bill Stream 50. <laughs> Lucky contestants compete for a chance to win ten million dollars. Your task is to survive by whatever means necessary. It's an interactive film. And tonight, I'm gonna let Chad have the reins. Now, the best thing about this for you YouTubers is you guys get to laugh at these guys. These guys always laugh at me when I make a movie or when I play a game. Now, you guys get to laugh at them, and then we can laugh together because you and I are on the same team. Right, YouTube? Subscribe? Huh? Ah, yeah, we're friends. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, here's what's going to happen. Every time a poll comes up, we're going to poll it. Or sorry, what? Every time a choice comes up, we're going to poll it. And we're going to see where your decisions lead you. Oh god, Jesus Christ. What is this music? Holy shit, dude. This is a deep bass. Streamer mode, pause choices. Oh hell yeah! Dude, they put it a streamer mode? That rules! Thank you! Alright. Game of the year. How thoughtful. Uh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Am I allowed to do this? Oh god. Now I'm... But I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> Not this music again. You can have it all. There's nothing bad in it? There better not be for your sake. If you've got what it takes. Fifty contestants. Listen, if the you're not 18, prize. go to bed. If you're not 18, go to bed. Just get out now. Are you ready? It's showtime! Welcome to the 13th season of Kill Stream. Is that stock the footage? Show on the planet where 50 lucky contestants compete for a chance to win 10 million dollars enter the hall of fame you know and have it all. when i was a kid i definitely Killstream, thought we would be entering, at this point by now 13th season you know what i mean criticized by human rights experts i thought we'd be killing people brutality. for content now seriously of its 470 contestants thus far showrunners alan court claim that all contestants are fully aware of what they are opting into they are volunteers they chose to be in this arena volunteers please they're desperate Oh, that's the guy from Contradiction, isn't it? My agent says it's going to be really good for my career. Any publicity is good publicity, right? Many would argue that the corporation is abusing its position of power. To 
take advantage of the destitute. And are responsible in large part for the cutthroat society we live in. Eugene Christoph, when you created He's the bad the guy. Show, oh, okay, never mind. He made the show. I thought he was the humanitarian guy. I was going to say, the humanitarian the is the real bad guy, for sure. The first few seasons have become some of the wealthiest people in the world. Yes. Is that justice? I guess I have what it took. Death or glory. This In is just Hunger Games, years, right? The contestant numbers have risen. But with YouTubers. What could we do? We opened it up to everyone. These people are a byproduct of the society created by you. Some would say <laughs> you're a coward having tapped out. Well, they can say that to my face. You have been inundated with applications. They have been Wait, you can leave the game? The that's bullshit. That's powerful. Who are now using them for that. <laughs> oh, dude, I would absolutely react. Socialist. Oh, my God. <laughs> If I didn't know any better, Chris, I'd say If you this were existed, I would react I'm not the only to this to so hard. Your show utterly I would absolutely be all over this. Don't ask them questions. The terms are agreed upon by both parties. I yeah. don't. So you think it's fine to witness <laughs> deaths on television? <laughs> and Since the beginning of time. Oh my God, the kids! I guess kids Surely are playing COD. Whatever, it's the same. A more barbaric time. I'm not so sure we have. Have you ever killed anyone? Uh, that's it for now. Turn it off. Turn it off. This is what the people want. Dude, how do I get in a game what? like this? There's got to be a way. Hey, it's Scarlet. So, if you don't already know, I'm on my way to the island. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm a little freaked out. Influencer, 207k followers, 1,001 well, odds. Dad, don't sweat. This is it, people. It doesn't get any realer than this. Strike Royale? Keep watching your socials for live updates. Share Kill Scarlet? What if I am Scarlet? Damn! They say the best tactic to find an ally early. Nick has 893k? Oh, wait. Wait, so it pauses choices? Can I just sit here? Okay, okay. All right. This is where you come in. Okay? I wonder if I do polls here. No, I got to do poll my piece so you guys can see it. So we can have it tracked. Can this guy be the mute? You can't have a mute in this game. Our friend here says it's important to have an early alliance. Wait, where's my polls? What? Oh, I see. It's not on here. Wait. Go. What do you think? Hmm? If you're so smart, don't fuck this up. This is probably mad important. If you say yes, I bet he becomes your friend. Wouldn't you like a friend? Hmm? Damn, more people saying... Okay. You guys are going to get us killed. If you guys get killed three times, I'm taking over. I need to beat this game before I'm able... <laughs> I need to be able to beat this game so I can still get the refund in if I have to. Okay? I'm going to have to take manual control of this. It's currently on autopilot with you guys. I disagree. You got it. Sounds like that would get complicated. Oh, you don't like Gav? Look how sad he was. I don't want to get stuck with that asshole, though. Oh, she's a streamer. Game streamers. Shoot is mainly. Should come in handy. <laughs> how? What about the cannibal over there? Life is all or nothing, yeah? You know that. I'm our people out there. Don't you know You that. just lost half your subscribers in the last six months. Has that got anything to do with this? Lost half of his subs in six months? We know it. Now it's time for the world to see. I'm going to be screaming the truth. Yo, are you going to get down my face? Oh, We're shit. She has no followers. Really set all this get her out of here. How did she get in here? Ring. Oh, he's the Alex Jones. Okay. <laughs> so, what's your story? Well? You gonna tell him the story? Hmm? 
I don't think you tell him the story, bro. He'll use it against you. I don't think you do it. Wow, you guys being honest Andes. You guys said you didn't want friends. You said you didn't want friends, and now look at you. Now you're making friends. All right, bro. I'm an actor. A washed up one. It was either this or go back to being a Honesty nobody. go up. You kidding me? That's Nick fucking Romeo. Wait, Mikey Lizard. Who? You didn't watch the Wolf Boys movie, sis? What about you? Name's Gav. Extreme vlogger. You're not one of those idiots that, that fall around the cartel and gun runners, are you? Just trying to get the most extreme stream. Ah, we okay. He's a this. deep webber. Some say the first He's one a parkour seller. On Jeffrey Epstein's island. Who knows? We'll you can say that? Way or another. Are, we out? Woo! <laughs> are you allowed to say that in a video game? Later, I feel like the estate Wait, of Jeffrey up. Epstein is going to come for you. Make sure you pull the cord on the left. Do it too soon. You're in the sea. Oh, Do God. Too late. Well, I guess it's someone else's problem. You're about to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. How's you feel about that? Do you have... Wait, do I have to do this one? Too much testosterone here, huh? You gonna jump or jerk off? <laughs> There's your choice, chat. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't. Don't. No. No. Don't. D Actually, you know what? Might be good to let out some testosterone. Hold on. You need a little bit of clarity before you jump off this plane. I, you know, actually, I think that's the right option. It's November. Not in this universe. Not where these people are, clearly. This is the summer, and summer's made for jackabating. Honestly, I'm with you, chat. Go for it. Too bad, buddy. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. You know what they say about he who hesitates. What? What a fucking loser. Did it say size in Russian? <laughs> Maybe you'll jack off when you hit the ground. You just can't do it in a plane. That would be destroying the environment. Pull the cord. <laughs> Dude, I would watch the shit out of this. Why am I reacting to reactors? They put built-in reactions. This is so dumb. What? Why am I here? I'm unnecessary to the experience. This is the real reactors, yeah. Track how you're doing from the pause menu. How am I doing? Tracker? Team morale, audience opinion. Oh, they love me. Or you, rather. They love you. Mm, half romance, half strength, half insight. Okay. It's all up to you, chat. <laughs> Why does she have an eyebrow tattoo? You dead? He'll live. I'm lucky for us, then. You're meant to use your parachute. I did. From, like, more than ten feet. Oh, I was gonna say, how did I not die? What the hell are you doing here? Why did they not kill you? Because they didn't have weapons yet. Hey, Coney Smile, I think adding sound effects at random times would make the stream a lot better. Not this time, Jeff, take but it thank back, you. Mikey. You did all right. One down, 49 to go. Really? We don't get disqualified for this, right? This ain't on us, yeah? Hey, can you send me that? Check out the Oh, can we not kill each other yet? thousand watching now. Her last season's finale had over a hundred million concurrent viewers. Don't worry, kid. I'll make sure the whole world is watching when you get nailed. Nice. A hundred million? 
It's like more than the Super Bowl, right? Go. Send it. Bro, you guys are fucking up. You're fucking up. Okay. Just leave me alone, Scarlet. He's got to come. You guys are gonna Where die are instantly, bro. You guys are making all the wrong choices. You're making too many enemies. Look sharp, people. You're on camera. Here we go, kill stream 13. Is that time again where I'm gonna be live kill streaming 24 <laughs> that fucking seven? Stay with me for a live reaction. Dude. I just wish this was real now. That's the only thing I'm getting out of this. Gamer girls, extreme vloggers, psychopaths, and wolf boys, have we got a season of Killstream in store for you? We'll be checking in with our viewers Who's the wolf and getting boy? your thoughts on this year's. I don't think we've seen him yet. A hot favorite going in, Nick Romeo. What a hunk. Oh, I'm the wolf boy. Looks like he's That's me. Some allies early on in the game, but. We're the wolf boy. The show doesn't start yet, folks. Our contenders will spend the night on the island before the game begins. So, grab a drink and settle in. Because the countdown starts now. I was on this. <laughs> yeah, of course you were, mate. They should have got actual streamers for this. Are we close, Otto? Seriously, what is this? This isn't the island. It's different every time. Yeah, but it's usually warm, sandy beaches. What is it? Ooh, you might want to be careful where you stand. They're everywhere. <laughs> what? I think I know what you're going to pick. Come on, guys. Have fun. Have some fun. You're a funny wolf boy, right? We love fun. Chad loves fun. I do. I knew that part. I could have guessed that. Chad loves to have a little fun. We're gonna die. They're just gonna shoot you in the head right here for not taking it seriously. All right. Kaboom! You're, you're not making any friends. They're smart minds. They're using a force players close to each other. Keeps the game interesting. Must be hundreds of thousands. Yo, Scott Falco Ray. Wait, wait, Scott Falco Ray. Wait a minute. What's good? Welcome, everybody. What's going on? Welcome from the Scott Falco stream. Hey, hope you had a great stream, buddy. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're making a movie tonight. You guys are in control. You're going to make choices and find out where our wolf boy is going next. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. And thanks, Scott, for the raid. I had that queued up all night for this. I gotta remember to do this every single stream. Can afford to send us to the Bahamas. They blew the budget on expenses. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, we all know what it's like. Anything to get the views. My agent's gonna hear about this. Who cares? We're not here for a vacation. Bro, when are people gonna die? What's this? Where's the beach house? <laughs> You're not catching on, are you? Oh, come on. Yeah, it's not that bad. Fucking paradise. Try spending six weeks in the rainforest with nothing. No shelter, except what you make for yourself. Christ, some of this food here at least. Bro, Nick no, Romero is old. Outside. Why are we the old What's guy? That? Bear? There's no bears here. You don't even know where here is. Well, he's right, judging by the foliage and the- I could give a fuck, Survivor Man. It's probably just a bird. You check it out then. Don't do it. Chat, I'm gonna give you this one for free. Don't look. Don't look. I'm gonna get- I don't mean to influence you, but I think it's a bad idea. Don't look at what it is. 
It's a fucking... Okay, you guys are gonna get eaten. You guys are actually just gonna get eaten. I hope it's a bear and I hope you die instantly. I know it's not, but I hope it is. Okay. Our hero. Careful. Hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, we gotta kill this guy. <laughs> what took you so long? Care to join me? I hate this dude. Another? No, I'm good. Chat. You have to stay lucid. How crazy are you going to get? He might be poisoning them. Remember, only one of you lives. There's 50 people on this island. <laughs> yeah! You don't know how many beers you had at this point. Tony, your chat is filled with contrarians. That's true. If you want us to pick an option, you'll need to use reverse psychology. No, you're right. I'm going to have to flip it around a little bit. Mm. Good point. Guys, you don't know how many beers you've had at this point. What if this next one kills you? Your liver shuts down. I'm good. All the toxins. Hey, Nick. What are you doing here? Like, I mean, you must have done all right after them movies. You kidding? He hasn't worked in years. Got fucked over by the studio. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Mind you own business or lighthearted? Honestly, Chad, I wouldn't let that guy talk to me like that. I wouldn't let that dude talk to me like that. I'd be kind of mad at him. But you guys are a bunch of pushovers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Soft. You're so soft. He's going to kill us if we fight? Biography? You think? Sorry, Already? Man. He was on TMZ. Rules are at 9 a.m. You need to get some sleep. So, what, they give the word and we go at it? That's a general idea, yeah. What's to stop us from killing each other tonight? Beer. Disqualification. I have to wait for the broadcast. Oh, they've got eyes everywhere. Shouldn't we team up? For the early rounds. Watch each other's backs through the crazy part. And then what? We're still breathing. We'll deal with it then, I guess. Fuck turning into the night. You know what they say Look about how the long this bird. game is. I'm yeah, you can't kill somebody off stream. Funny. It's got to be on also, the content. Nah, it's not for me. I don't play team games. You guys want to team up or no? I think you Sigma it, honestly. I think you got to go Sigma on this one. If you team up with somebody, they're going to they're gonna betray you. I don't know. It's pretty close. Shutting it down in five, four, three, two, one. All right, yeah, okay. Forget it. What's the top part? I mean, what? No way. Chicken dinner all the way. <laughs> no chance. What? You're gonna win. Yeah. Why not me? <laughs> Guys, you cannot be serious. <laughs> they have got you all fooled. He's the Alex Jones, right? This is just a playground. What on earth are you talking about, Paddy Power? It's all fake. For TV. <sighs> no one believes in God anymore. Yeah! This is the new church. Imagine not what? teaming up for Booba. Yeah, actually, hold on. By the Russians. How are you doing? Oh, the romance is low. You guys are kind of failing on that, Rand. Uh -huh. Definitely the fucking Illuminati. Like just a bunch of fucking old white men making the virgins. I mean, look at this place. Listen, eyes on the prize. Bro, was like a fucking what do you get? Like fifty uh, mil if you uh, win? Wasn't the creator of Killstream black? Yeah, where is he? <laughs> Why did they say it like that? He's paranoid. You know, there's lots of other landing groups. He like whispered it. Conspiracy nut calling me paranoid. Fake news, baby. Fuck you. And what about you, princess? Hmm? Dada. Ah, oh, come on. It's better than having a death wish. 
Fish? Well, I'd sleep with one eye open if I was one. Yeah. Especially with Hannibal over there. <laughs> I mean, you know the story, don't you? What? He's a survival blogger. Oh, fuck. That guy's gonna He's be the final boss. Deep in the Amazon basin. We're getting eaten. You guys are gonna get eaten. Somehow you guys are gonna make a terrible mistake and get eaten. We found Dev alive and well. Should have starved to death. Would have starved to death. His part. You gotta make whatever decisions you can to not be yummy. <laughs> Smoke cigarettes. Aww. Drink a lot of beer. No, it's true. How do you get all stringy. <laughs> Just run every day. Oh, I hope he's not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now the real game starts. Night one, and some shaky alliances of the Wolf Boy camp. But can Nick Romeo pull it together before it's too late? Let's see what else. Audience polls are in. The jury's still out on Nick Romeo. What's your opinion? Oh, That's nice. a child. <laughs> that looks like Rod. How did they get Rod in this game? Come in. I want to hear the child's input. I've landed on the island. Location unknown. Roger that. You knew about this? Location change. The average human is 500,000 calories? And now that I have, do you know where I am? Bro, that's nutritious! Are you serious? Not even plot armor can save Nick from no way that's stupidity. He's doomed sad. Yeah, Nick's dead. Nick's dead instantly. Yeah, I know you you can't eat the brain. Because the brain will kill you. The brain is so smart that it will kill you for eating it. Safe, you don't even know where I am. The brain is like a plant that stops you from eating, you know? It's like poisonous. You get little living things in your brain from the other brain. It's kind of fucked up. shit. Romeo out. Care to explain? Oh, no! Harley Quinn's on to us! Margot Robbie, it's not what it looks like! Guys, don't stop joking. You guys have too many jokes. You guys are too jokey. You guys got to take something serious. Something bad's going to happen to you. What if everybody loves you guys because you're so funny and you joke all the time? Okay, fine. Joke champ. Good luck. You, have to kill you. Ooh, flirt champ. Now you made the right choice, I guess. She likes you now. <laughs> Are you playing as the Joker? What's that? It was here when we got up for the broadcast. Should we open it? No, don't. Why? Oh my god, why do I have to make this decision? Go for it. I hope it's a bomb. I hope you guys open it and it's a bomb and we get game over. <laughs> you just die instantly. First choice. All right, open it up. Okay. You got it. Go on, get in there, Sean. 30 minutes to showtime. Time to get dolled up. Okay, that choice didn't matter at all. <laughs> Where are the others? This is a huge island. <laughs> oh, I thought they were watching him poop. Dev's gone. Good. That guy was creepy AF. This one, too. What's up? Thought you'd left with Dev and Rhea. Not Rhea, too? A shame. She was such a hoot. Going somewhere? Yeah, there's a scout around. Getting I'm trying to decide who the last time. two people are going to be, right? What? 
No. He's a camper. What's that? He's a pussy. <laughs> he hides himself in cover and waits for the other players so he can pick them off. What's wrong with that? Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Oh no, it's gonna Bullshit. ask us what we I think. Camp. Let's screw this. I'm scout the area. Oh, I can't believe it didn't ask. I thought it'd be like, what do you think about camping? And we'll be straight back after these short messages. When do people die, bro? These are people's lives. I'm trying to see people get killed, dude. Come on, where's the game? Auto back yet? Not likely. Oh yeah, remember him. I didn't expect it. I know, right? I thought it was gonna be the one with the uh, eye patch. The Korean. No, that was. Uh... Oh God. Sun Woo. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Sun Woo. Oh, oh, oh! Here it comes. Good morning, Islanders. Let's cut to the chase. You know why you're here. Contestants split up into six landing groups spread around the island. Your task is to survive by whatever means necessary. And to help you along the way, we will be airdropping crates of weapons, armor, and other goods. Bro, I love this game. <laughs> and just in case you were thinking now I just want to play the culling. This, we have covered the island I just want to play the culling lives. so bad now. So don't think about what a good game. Anytime soon. <laughs> and every time you hear... This sound. That means another set of mines have been activated around the island. So you better keep moving in land if you want to keep dancing the foxtrot, if you know what I mean. We've got the usual mix of fame-hungry wannabes, stone-cold psychos, and crazies. But in a callback to the very first kill stream, we're bringing back Death Rose Rogues Gallery. Okay, these are bosses. To fight okay. Alongside your favorite Z. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have to kill all of them. And in more serious news, this time round we're changing. It's just up. an island full of affiliates. Year, <laughs> yeah, winner gets partner. Out. Winner gets partner with a 3.5 split. The dream. You'll be set up for the rest of your life. You're all in it to win it. No rescues, no tactical dropouts. This year, you've got to give it your all. I feel like they had to tell you that before it happened. Oh, I guess you signed up. You can't really position. leave now. So move fast. With half the planet watching you right now, you're already a superstar. Dude, I'm now just go. imagining this. Put on a show. But that's like XQC in the host role. Bastards. Dude, dude, they dude, do dude, dude, you have to kill each other. I, I signed a contract. You have to fight right now. Ah, but did you read it? I mean, I did. It wasn't exactly I just put 20 guns right on your island. Fuck you. Dude, dude, dude. I'm calling my agent. <laughs> Inspire the team. Say nothing. What are you going to do? Wow, it's saying nothing now. What the hell is wrong with you guys? What? Inspire confidence, bro. What are you doing? Wait, the gap is closing. Five, four... Three, two, one. Sit. Wait. And ah, never mind. It was getting close, okay, but let's go get those weapon drops. No. Nope. Number go down. Chet, you're gonna die. You're gonna die so fast. Well, Nick seems to have pulled it off. Start the sure game. Everyone's on board. What's your take? He's trying his best out there, but it's tough. It is tough. I wonder if that's dependent on your choices. And they're just saying you're doing a shitty job. Hey, what did Tish call it? Camping? That's what we should do. We lay low and ride it out. <laughs> you know, I just checked the map. He says I'm not a pussy. I'm gonna go kill people. And I hope he does, finally. We should be right on top of it. 
What does it look like? I'm trying to see some people die, bro. Trump lives underscore 88. Looking forward to see you die, bitch. Oh my god! There. This is brutal. Oh my god. Shoot her. Shoot her. Shoot her right now. Chat, do it. Send it. One less person on the island. I hope you get the option. Why is she trusting you? Uh <laughs> What kind of choice is this? Uh, one of them doesn't work. I'm positive one of them is not going to work. All right, a lot of left Larrys and no right Randys. All right, left, you got it. Good luck. They're all pretty old. We should only use them if we need to. There you go. Doggy dog, bitch. <laughs> Why'd he say that? To himself. I don't even Anyone? think that guy's streaming. What? God damn it. I'm gonna give away our location. Sorry. So she has a real gun. I think you guys have the fake one. I think you guys made a mistake. Well, okay. Wait, where is it? Having issues connecting to Twitch chat, huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, it worked. Hold on one second. It broke, it broke, it broke. All right, pull again, pull again, pull again, pull again, pull again. It broke, it broke, it broke. Pull again, pull again. Hell yeah, the correct choice. The right thing to do. Investigate. You guys are dead. You guys are dead. But you know what? At least it's a content death. You've learned well. Don't shoot. <laughs> Who's this? I'm not armed. Where's your landing group? I'm on my own. I have a shot at the landing. Been out here all night. Chad, would you really trust a streamer? I'm right here, bitch. What did you say? Seriously, man, you don't want to do this. Uh... Mm... I, you, you know what I would pick. You know what I would pick. I feel like it sucks because this guy's definitely going to be cool later, probably, but... Correct choice. He's gone. Jeez! Oh, shit! <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Damn. You just did it. What happened? <laughs> it was a threat. You're all threat? on the island to kill people. Why is everybody acting so weird? Ooh, she likes you. Ooh, she gave you a look, chat. This guy's fucking dead. Big news, guys. This shit's fucking real. It's <laughs> fucking real. I'm gonna go with the flow, you know? I'm gonna give it a go. I may even win this fucking thing. Who knows? Are you out? Cold-blooded, Nick. I love it. Doing what's gotta be done. It's 49 That's left. In no time at all. I feel like these are like random shots, you know? Like the game just has an AI that just pulls in random shots from a library Shock that have nothing to do with each other. Says that two of the landing groups just rips each other to shreds right at the start. Do you have anything in camo? Camo's so in right now. Really? You never see it anywhere. Oh, that's funny. Seriously, though. That's a funny guy. 
These guns are almost antique. You can see we why he does podcasts. Something. It's pretty good. See that? Farming lol W's. What about it? Funny it's fella. Something. It's not on the map. Exactly. There's a bridge up ahead. From there, we can either go straight through or we can go around. Oh my god. This again? None of these matter, ah! right? Tony, if given the opportunity, who would mm -hmm. you trust with your life in a do or die situation? Uh huh. Twitch chat or a literal hamster? I don't. Both equally bad choices. I'm, I'm, I'm alone, bro. I'm not trusting either of you. The hamster would try to eat the wires of my gun? <laughs> the guns have. Guns probably have, like, a wire <laughs> somewhere, right? All right, whatever. He would eat through the shells. He would eat through the, the, the canister. Yeah, he would eat through my entire clip, and Twitch chat would just be very toxic and tell me to shoot myself in the head, lol w, omega lol. <laughs> I can't trust either of you. Thank you, Russ Kerb. I feel like guns have something in them that a hamster could chew through, right? Maybe the they literally don't. There's got to be something on a on a gun. What about a musket? A wood musket. Give it to a beaver. I say we go straight through. See if we can catch someone off guard. Sounds like a plan. They All could right. eat a bullet. So yeah, like Let's Hamster go. teeth are pretty strong, right? Way to go, Nick. I know rats could do that. What's up with that guy? Is that guy on TSM? <laughs> he has a TSM jacket. Sponsored to kill people and kill stream. What's the difference between a liberal and a puppy? Oh no, not more jokes. A puppy stops whining when it grows up. <laughs> <laughs> he is the guy that tweeted at her. He's definitely the guy that tweeted that toxic shit at her. Ooh, three choices here. Hold on. Go. Tish, Gav, or keep walking. This is probably going to be very important. This is setting things up so that it's probably just going to be these two at the end. And depending on your choices, you may or may not make it. I don't know. Tish? I would have guessed you guys would do that. <laughs> Why, huh? Oh, shit. You get to pick what you say, too. Bro, pick the icebreaker. Pick the icebreaker. Be funny. You got to charm her a little bit here. You're an actor. Turn it on. You got to woo her. Dazzle her. Sweep her off her feet on this one. Correct choice. Well done, everybody. How much does a polar bear weigh? Oh, God. Enough to break the ice. Guess you've heard that one, huh? Yep. That was a bad one. You Very shouldn't have done that. That guy hates you. So what that fucking here? streamer Psychos, hates you guys. Secrets, you guys better work on him. He's your general audience. You weren't far off earlier. What you said about <laughs> our lives not being that great. That dude hates everything you guys are doing. Sorry. So He's a hate watcher, yeah. He is LTG on Nothing. the other tab. He's just another misogynist asshole. I deal with pricks like him online every day. Scumbags who think women don't belong anywhere but the kitchen. Check stats. Ooh! Bro, you're strong! And the audience loves you! That's pretty good. Wow. You guys are doing well. I didn't get that vibe off it. Probably just because you there killed somebody. That's probably all it is. Sexism isn't as bad as wanton murder. That's very insightful of you, Tish. 
Shut up, dickhead. <gasps> oh, Chet. Chet! Listen, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I might as well uh, suggest to you it's kind of important to keep your eyes on the prize, okay? Do not be wooed by her feminine wiles. You're actually flirting. Okay. You can't help yourselves. You see a woman on the screen and you just have to flirt. I get it. I understand. All right. Okay, guys. When she comes back and pops you in the head because you guys get honey potted, you just remember this conversation we had. Hey, I bet YouTube would pick too, wouldn't you? You guys wouldn't flirt, would you? Huh? Up top? Boom. I know you did it because I know you guys bro fist PewDiePie. It's the same thing. I have no idea if YouTube's going to see that or this. All right, you guys Very wanted to flirt. Go for it. Hey. <laughs> you need to work on your flirting. I got an achievement, by the way, that said uh, Super Seducer. So, thanks for that, chat. Well done. Big thanks on that one. All right, you want to talk to Gav, too? You going to be a bit of a chatty Kathy today? <laughs> for what? For what? Come on, guys. You're exhausting every dialogue option. Dude, do the icebreaker. I bet it's the same one. Ask it. Dude, do the polar bear one. Give him the polar bear one. Give him the polar bear one. He'll love that. Bro, he's going to love that. He's going to love that shit, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. I bet he hasn't heard this one before. What did the little hill say to the big hill? Okay. Hey, Cliff. Do you mean hi, Cliff? Shit. <laughs> you rock, you when you... <laughs> Comedy was never my strong suit. The Russian guy is just here to roast you. So is it living up to the hype? But he did love You've it. Got out of minds, You've right? made a friend. Seriously, though, what possesses people? Now you're talking about like you're on the outside. She went viral as a kid. Remember the Susie Milkshake video? That was her? Yeah, she tried to distance herself from the whole milkshake thing, and it's a name change. But, you know, going viral at that age must have spooked her, I guess. She's been trying to get famous again ever since. A Susie Milkshake? Not too different from your own story, yeah. I'm just Ouch. wondering, like... Oh, maybe with a little less talent. Talent? What is that a parallel to? Is that, like, a Rebecca Black thing, or...? Well, Let's just say that the locker room scene in Wolfhoids helped me answer a few questions I was having at the time. <gasps> really? Yo! Are you guys really going to do it? Are you guys really going to... Are you going to... Are you really going to get with everybody on the island? Okay, don't flirt on this one. Okay, you got it. Actually, wait, I flipped it. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, that's on me. Wait, we're going to redo it because I had it backwards. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Do not flirt is one. Okay? Flirt is two. Okay? Keep that in mind. Three, two, one, go. Chat, you can't flirt with everybody on the island. It's not going to end well. They're going to find out about it and kill you. Come on, man. Why are you guys flirting with everybody? Your card's right. Maybe we could stage a reenactment. Woohoo! Okay. Watch when this comes back to bite you, okay? Watch what happens. One of them's gonna catch you flirting, and then you're gonna get shot in the head. Seems like Nick might be on for some loving. So, is there romance in the air? Is there? Not much. <laughs> you guys are shitty flirts. 
Only 60%? You guys got to work on your icebreakers and your pickup lines. <laughs> Not too good at this. He seems to have his pick there, doesn't he? We might be in for some action of a different kind. They will show you that, won't they? Will they? They better not. I thought that was Darman. I thought that was Darman. I was gonna say, no way. Special appearance. <laughs> Darman's gonna come out when you actually break somebody's heart, when you keep flirting with all these people. It's gonna let you know that you went down the wrong path. Please, I want to kill that guy so bad. Oh, come on, guys. I want to kill that guy so bad. Whoa, easy now. Kill TSM. Kill to. TSM. I told you, I've been out scouting. That was half a day ago. And I covered a lot of ground. There's a lot of weird motherfuckers out there. We've got a more immediate problem. There's another team up ahead. Coming in Shoot this direction. Now. <laughs> Why would they be headed towards shore? We can't trust him. He could be setting us up. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Ooh, wait. Wait. Bro, my pull thing is broken. No. The pull site is dead. We might have to do polls on stream. I'm not kidding. Look. What? The site's down. We might have to do polls just here. We can still do them. We can still do Twitch polls. It's basically the same thing. But that means that I'm going to have to show it. Hold on. Surely I can get this working, right? That's so lame. The site's just dead. I think we crashed it. Damn, that's tough. Simply too popular, bro. If 1,300 people killed the server, they have more pri- Yeah. Yeah. Alright, hold on. Let's set up the Twitch poll. How can I- Let me do it this way. By the way, I would not trust auto. I don't mean to influence you or tell you what to do, but uh, just letting you know, uh, I don't like that guy. Plus, if you kill him, there's an opening on TSM. Is there a poll option for here? Yes, here we go. Here it is. Found it. But I can't pop that out. Yeah, Poma P is dead. All these are going to say one minute, but I'm going to cut them early. Also, you can pay for additional votes for only 10 bits. Or 100,000 Kony coins. Go. Here we go. Now I have the pop out. Here we go. Okay. So we go here. Add window. Good, 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 good. All right, we'll do this until Paul P comes back. Let me get rid of the FPS counter. Oh, wait, no, you don't see it because... Never mind. You don't see it because I'm on capture. So I got to go to PC capture. Aha, yeah, 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 yeah. Streaming, streaming. Yep, yep, yep. Difficult job. There. There. Damn, is that dead 50-50?
Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Pickles be slight and contribute 100k points? Holy shit. One by two votes. Hey, listen. If that doesn't get you to rock the vote, nothing will, bro. It's decided. We are not trusting auto. Send it. This feels like a setup. What? I've been looking out for you guys. We don't know that. Oh! You've been gone for hours. I don't know if it's the Fuck right choice, but... Follow you. you know what? Fuck this noise. I was doing better alone. Wait, auto! <laughs> okay, well... So what's you the didn't even kill Maybe him. Maybe we should camp. Am I using that right? Oh, shit! Susie Milkshake! Down! Auto set you up! Why? Why a Wilhelm scream already at the beginning of the fucking show? <laughs> what? Oh god. This is an important one. This is an important one. You might die. You might die if you fuck this up. You could perish. But you would go out like a warrior. Damn, alright, return fire. You got it. Oh! Who is that? They didn't even have a gun out. They were just traipsing through the woods. Is that you, wolf boy? Now we're putting on a show. Fuck you, Hannibal. Hey, what does someone with blue blood taste like anyway? You're gonna eat those fucking words. I love to stay in chat. <laughs> but there's no end of that. It's just. Wait. Okay. Where the fuck did they go? I guess he really did want to stay in chat, yeah. I hate the fact that these two are your love interests already. Oh shit! Already? Already? All right, chat, make your choice. Are you homosexual or not? Hmm? You can't save both. Gav was cooler. Gav was very nice to you. Chat is making their choice known. We should have saved Otto. No. <laughs> Otto, Otto had to go. Saving Gav. Okay, people are choosing it. All right, Gav, you got it. Goodbye, Tish. She's coming back as an enemy. She's coming back. She's not dead. You guys fucked up now. It's a good job I followed you down. Good work on the bridge there. You really showed him. <laughs> it's your lucky day. Dev the cannibal <laughs> huh? cornered his own landing squad. And that creative reuse of minds means Gav sees his final destination. Tish Tasker and Nick Romeo were also caught in the blast. Are we near the end? That's a million dollars. Coming soon took your cravat and strangled you with it. Part of me is feeling like this is going to be over soon. We just killed a couple of the main characters. We might beat the game, bro. What the fuck just happened? They used the mines. They must have rigged them. Jesus. Do you see what happened to the others? Oh. 
I think I might see Scarlet go down. Where are we? All right. We're about five miles inland. Fuck. You all right? <laughs> that is the fakest wound. It didn't even look that bad. We need to go dark. Nick, what the fuck are you talking it's about? It's not even a gash. <laughs> it's just blood. <laughs> you know, it's great to be part of a real team. I think you made the right choice. Oh, God. Oh. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Good woman. Come on. Now you're still oh, okay. I should have guessed the cannibal would be Sorry. evil, dude. I should have guessed that. I didn't know who the bad guy was, but. And guys, I don't know if you. Okay. I don't know if you noticed, but it was your decisions that made that happen. She would have lived if you just played a little better. I don't know if you remember earlier, but you made a decision that we was crucial, and it like ended up getting her killed. Scarlet's friends so. and family. Let's take a moment now in remembrance of her life. Moving on! <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so dumb. It's just a series of like 10 vignettes. But it looks like that's the end for Nick Romeo and his team. What? But I guess we saw where his heart was right at the end there. Uh, what? That's the end for my team? What is that? Did we lose? Is the game over? They think he's dead. Oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say, did, did we... Like, who are we playing now? But I guess we're Nick watching on TV in... Ah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. We're Nick watching it in the show. Okay. Tricky, tricky. All right, leave it on. Get a little bit more intel. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, good idea, good idea, good idea. That was so beautiful. They would have been perfect together. Maybe they made it, right? But leaving Tish on the bridge? That was cold. You want another drink? Oh, never mind. You're the bum now. <laughs> now you're homeless. Take that. <laughs> you weren't Hold Nick down, that huh? time. Let's just take a minute. What's up? What? Oh. Guys, don't tell him the truth here. He couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle it. Don't tell him the truth. Don't tell him the truth. He wouldn't understand. He would not understand. Do not tell him. Don't tell him that you're a U.S. government agent. But he's my boyfriend. You guys are getting too attached too quick. What's wrong with you dudes? You fall in love with the first attractive guy you see? What are you doing? All right, bro. All right. Okay. For no reason. He didn't even push you on it. You just said, yeah, sure. Well, looks like that head case already was almost right. Uh, what do you mean? Almost everyone's fucking dead. I wasn't right about it all being fake, but this game is rigged. What the fuck are you talking about? The winner's picked out before the game begins. Yeah, and how could they possibly do huh? that? There's too many dangers out here. You saw that poor bastard back there. That's not a sure thing, but from what we know, they do all they can to give them the advantage. You just mm. think we... I'm not here to win. I was sent here by a group called the Alliance. I was sent here to expose the truth. <laughs> The corporation used deep fake technology to rig the outcome of Killstream. 
I don't. So you're saying pure generated scenario? I don't think that's what deep fake means. Real time to make things play out the way they want. Who taught the dev what deep fake was? Because I don't think they did a very good job. I mean, why not just let it play out? <laughs> the winner's a puppet. All the fame and power that come from winning this thing can be controlled if they know who the winner is. Alan Corp fucked. Deep fake. So they've been hemorrhaging money for years. They're on the ropes. I mean, technically true, right? Adds up, I guess it kind of makes sense. It, the jurisdictions that broadcast if it, you use it as like a literal, states, you are deeply the faking winning, the outcome. They had to come up with a plan, so they started fixing it. We're not sure when, but when the creator left, there are big changes behind the scenes. The winners always became big stars, right? But then they didn't need the corporation anymore, so they decided to change that. With the winners in their pockets, they managed to keep things afloat for a while longer, but now they're getting desperate. That's why the rules keep getting more brutal. So you were being serious about the no tap outs. They really are just trying to be civilians. And the puppet? No idea. So you're here to expose all this. Why I have a feeling there's like 30 Let's minutes left, maybe. The Alliance knew this, and it was a safe bet. Short my game. balloon of a career get me a spot on here. They gave me this device. Payload. I have to plant the corporation's network. Gav's the puppet? If the Alliance can get No, me, can you think so? Expose it all. The deep fakes, the fix, everything. I guess he has to be. Who else could it be, else? right? I mean, why isn't your Alliance helping you? This is a problem. Because it's not dev. That's too easy. Switched out the location at the last minute. They must have known they had a mole. The Alliance are still scrambling to find out where the fuck we are. Uh, what about GPS? Our phones? Locked. All signals in and out of this place go through Iron Corp's network. This device was meant to be invulnerable to their control, but the blast back there must have knocked it out. We need to find a way into Allen Corp's network, a comms tower. Maybe I can find a way to get a message out of here and find out where the fuck we are. Well, look, there's got to be stuff like that around here. You know, these drones are streaming 24-7. Yeah, can't they hear you? It's getting dark. You know, we should lay low. If there are cameras yeah, on you all the time, time and they're just exposing all this information... All okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's not a bad wound. <laughs> Why is he... What a baby, dude! I'll go first. Just scraped his knee. All this anyway. Oh, don't tell him. Don't tell him, bro. Chat, don't overshare. You guys are sharing too much all the time. Don't tell! Why are you... Stop! Chat, leave some mystery. Have some secrecy. What the fuck? You guys are too nice. You guys would die on the first night. I can't believe this game lets you win. It's a travesty that this game is allowing you to progress and succeed. All right, bro. Not much call for an aging child actor. I didn't make the transition. Drinking drugs took over. TV and film, well, it all changed. You blame the corporation for that? <laughs> you remember the other Nick? Yeah, of course. The other guy from Wolf Boys. Oh my god, he's Corey Feldman. You two were kind of a double act for a while. He's Corey. What we were doing in a shelf life. Hollywood chews you up. That's fucked up. Out. What do you do? That's fucked up. Anything you can to stay on. There is Corey Feldman and Corey Haim. I forget which one of them so died, did. but one of them died. And they did movies together Drinking and shit. drugs made him feel like he was invincible. So they're just doing one of the no Corys. Other choice. Death or glory. Well, he, season six. He didn't stand a chance. I tried to stop him, but... He was a stubborn son of a bitch. Mm. 
You guys gonna kiss? I don't think this is going to be the time where you guys have a little bit of discretion, right? Surely not. Oh, what? Oh, wait, it's the wrong poll. What? There it is. Well? Yeah, of course you're going to kiss. Of course you're going to kiss. Of course you're going to kiss. Yeah. Okay. Bring in a little bit more. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Are people going to pay for this, I wonder? 290 bits, by the way. Blood said put in $2.90 to make sure that we kissed. <laughs> Just to be clear. Had to make sure we got the good ending. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Congrats, guys. You got the gay ending. Congratulations. Dude, you guys need to kill this guy. Otto's pissing me off. How high is the romance? <laughs> it's pretty high, bro. You guys are doing pretty good at romance. I love this picture of uh of Gav like, oh oh you guys are doing good. I'm charmed, bro. You guys are pretty good at kissing. Dude, you guys have good scores all around, but the audience doesn't like you. I think as soon as you kissed Gav, numbers went down in some red states. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is like, they turned on you quick. <laughs> Gav is going to betray you, bro. And when he does, just remember, I told you so. You guys gave up too too much information too quickly. It's foolish. Gav's gone. Yeah, he left you. He's gone, bro. <laughs> They're wearing jammies. Oh, it's her. Oh shit. She's Where tough. Are you, Nick? you can't hide forever, you know. <laughs> well, I feel like there's no way to die in this game. You know what I mean? I feel like there's no way for you to actually, like, have any sort of consequences. Trusting Gav? You think Gav is gonna come save you? I don't know. I don't know. Uh huh. All right. 7030 says don't move. Let's see how it works out for you. I hope she just turns the corner and pops you right in the skull. Toodles, bitch. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. You're all so bad at this game. You're so bad at this game. You got toodles. Why would you ever think Gav would come save you, huh? That's one death for chat and one less, one more death than I would have had. I would have had one less death currently.
<laughs> well, Chet? <laughs> That's funny. I would have pulled... Oh, my God. It actually made the sound. I would have pulled it if I could. It only lets you do it... Oh, <laughs> Okay, don't waste my time. <laughs> don't waste my time again. Actually, staying might work this time. Come to think of it. I feel like they're doing this because the second time it will work. This time, I think you wait for Gav. I think Gav will come to save you this time. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You're right. You're right. It's a mix-up. Toodles, bitch. <laughs> it's the same cutscene. <laughs> two deaths for chat. You got toodles twice. We've learned our lesson. Always move. Always move. Where are you, Nick? You just keep getting toodles. Hide forever, you know. Chat is Tommy two toodles. One more death and I take over. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to be here all night. <laughs> I hope this comes up like eight more times. She just continually tries to... Oh, dude, do it again. Do it again. Do it again, please. Me out here looking for you like a fucking knobhead. Please do it again. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I think this is the same as the last one. Right? This is... Th these are... Why did the first time I got to move, but this time I get the option again? <laughs> okay, you're right. Maybe Gav this time... This time I think I, I think... I think I feel it on this one. He's seen you die too many times. I agree. Gav will come, for sure. No way you guys get toodles the third time. I'll make it quick. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, make another choice. Guys, I'll say, this time, I think you move. I do think you have to move this time. This time, I think you have to get up and move. We move now, chat. Come on. Guys, stop staying. Stop staying. Move. <laughs> move. 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 Get up! There's no way you get away with it again. Toodles, bitch. You're gonna get toodles. You're gonna get toodles. All right. Here we go. Toodles, champ. Goodbye. It's the same scene. Toodles. Toodles, bitch. <laughs> I knew it. It's the same scene. Is this just random? Because one time the stay worked. Chad, I'm taking over for the rest of this portion. Where are you, Nick? Assuming direct control. You can't hide forever, you we got to get off autopilot here. I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to get. Guys, this is just random. This is actually just random. I'm just always gonna move. Yeah, double move. And then what? Ooh, where'd he go? Oh, so he grunts with effort. Bro, she's strong. And cozy. Uh, 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 
He groans with effort. Oh! It's your gun, boo! Let's go, Gav! He's on your side. That's your boy. Do it, then. Fucking button. I mean... I mean... <laughs> toodles? <laughs> I think you hit her with the toodles on this one. She's killed you in like eight different realities. What's our story with her? You don't have one. She's just an MMA lady that wants to win. That's that's the whole story. She's She's an MMA fighter who is very tough. All right, we toodles on this. Toodles champ. I hope he says it. He didn't even say anything cool. <laughs> Toodles in. <laughs> All right, she's been toodled. It's another one down. Rhea. Dude, your strength must be high. Damn, the audience loves you. Holy shit, you're dumb as shit though. You're so stupid. Maybe because of all those times that you stayed instead of moving. <laughs> the audience loves you and you're a lover. There's a lot of love going on all over the place. But you're so stupid. I thought the audience thought you were dead. Wait, that's true. What? Crazy, crazy, crazy bitch. A fan favorite for sure, but it just wasn't to be. Dude, they're not showing anything. <laughs> what? I don't even get to see people die. That's it. If we can down one of those things, we might be able to hack it and track it back to the communications center. Oh. We just knock it out the sky. We just knock it out the sky. Yeah, that sounds easy. He has our bird in his sights. Are they allowed to do that? I feel like this would be against the rules. In a shocking turn of events, Nick Romeo and Gavin Crosby are still in the game. They sure ain't taking this lying down. Ha! See? He's not dead. Nick Romeo's not dead. I knew he wasn't dead. What, do you want to shag him or something? Oh, mate, fuck off. Where are they? Are they at a land down, center? Huh? Go, Nick. Go, Nick. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. Slippery <laughs> fucker. Kelvin, you heard he's... <laughs> Who the fuck is Keep that? Him. Don't worry, what? buddy. I'll look after you. They added Bane? That's not Hello. scary. It's just a guy with a, a mask. He's not in... Okay. Die Hard Man? <laughs> why, why did they add him? They couldn't get, like, a big buff guy? Just added Bane to the game. Seen one in a while. Are you sure this is gonna work? Give me your phone. Why? Was how they track the contestants? Dude, that well, guy is gonna avoid, take though. like eight different well, correct choices to kill. Now, He's gonna find again. ways to kill you so many huh. times. It'll be fine. <laughs> Rayo was nothing compared to that guy. He's gonna overpower the shit out of you. <laughs> shit. It must have taken on more water than I thought. He's gonna cheat. I mean, it worked for a bit. I thought matter, the island was shrinking. Wait, I did too. Did yeah. Move. Nothing even happened. I thought somebody would have died to that by now. It's Calvin, right? <laughs> You're not Calvin Biggs, are you? Oh, he is a big dude. Oh my god, it is you. But. You were in America's Most Wanted, right? Hey, that was a crying shame what they did. Goddamn lamestream media and their goddamn witch hunts. <laughs> I mean, so what if you took a bus out of school kids hostage? You only killed the teacher. <laughs> so he's Control evil, evil. Got it. Contact with Romeo. Continuing sweep of the area. Over. 
Ari's going to end up being the big bad, bro. They're going to have some kind of twist, and he's like the main. He's the puppet. Dude, that's it. Something's not right. That's why Romeo is there. Soul of Fix. He's the puppet at the end. <laughs> What's the difference between this island and a dead prostitute? This dude has jokes. Right, but we're not going to hear it. I hope he tells it again later. This island still sucks. Ah, good one. Good one. That's funny. That's funny, Ari. That's good. Lol W from that guy. All right, fuck it, I'm done. Let's just push on a little further. I think there's a place up here. No, Nick. Enough. <laughs> what? What are you going to do? You just lay down and die? I don't... In the middle of a field? I'm an idiot. What's I trying to prove? <laughs> it's all nonsense, you know, all this extreme vlogging. I'm really just a coward. Oh my god. Not the pep another talk. another rich prick with a chip on his shoulder. I hope Gav dies. I hope somebody just pops him with a sniper right now. There's a time before all this started. I was backpacking my way through Asia, ended up in Australia. <laughs> Barely 17. That's quite a diversion. I met a you got to cross the ocean for that. Called Benny. Was so How'd he get there? <laughs> we decided to travel on together for a while. I was heading south, so Ben decided that we should get a car. He said it'd be safer, so I agreed. We're a couple of days into the journey, and we've been taking turns at the wheel. I mean, back then, I didn't have a clue. We were getting high every night, drinking during the day. Journey didn't stop us. I was determined to find some club in some town that I can't even remember the name of it. I feel like this Benny was put in the game to make sure I don't get a refund. To stay, but I didn't listen. I was pretty much pissed. They were like, "Hey, if we don't part. put in this monologue, the game's gonna be under two hours. Just have Gav just babble for like fifteen it, minutes." <laughs> of course, I was without fucking scratch. The offensive vehicle impact causing death. That plus the drugs they found, I was looking at 10 years. I wish I could tell him to shut up. There's just an option. That's enough. Yeah. I saw Ben's family in court, you know. It's like, what's away a free man? <laughs> we all knew it was me that should have died that night. It was written on my face, it's plain as day. Is it too late for us to go back to Tish? This is the choice you made. I've always been too much of a coward. You wanted to save this guy. This chatterbox. Since that night, I've done my best to put myself in harm's way, but somehow... He's just trauma dumping to you. My survival instinct keeps me alive long enough before my family's money can get me out of trouble. I guess that's how I ended up here, really. Not even my grandfather's fortune can reach me here. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe Ben's mother will finally get some justice. Hey, TP, shh. I know. It's a fucking sad state of no, look. <laughs> Something important, Gav. Hush. Wait, that's true. He is rich. That's a good point. I didn't even think of that. Oh, Ew! Fuck, oh, there's some sick fuckers out there. No, you're not wrong. Bro, you gotta search it. You gotta search it. You gotta search it. You gotta see what's there. 
Bro, she's gonna have something on her that's valuable. Right? Make Gav do it? Like in Fallout 3? No, it is your destiny. You must search the dead body. <laughs> this is definitely a trap. It's probably a mine in her belly, but that's what you guys want to see. Goodbye. Goodbye, chat. <laughs> On second thought, why would they put a mine in her belly? It works. <laughs> now we just need to wait. You found a phone! Wait, oh, the audience hated that. Oh, shit, I think the crowd hate it. Oh, you lost audience opinion. Oh, they didn't like that. When we shoot it at this guy. His best shot. Let's find out. Now we're cooking down to the final ten. Oh, my God. Okay. You can eat this tension with a spoon. Nick Romeo is still M.I.A. Maybe there's still hope. Or maybe the pieces are just too small. And this is strange. They're not showing anything. Bullshit. What the fuck is going on? The show's really gone downhill. Wait, so you don't see any of this? Control 2, we have a signal nearby. Like what's happening right now is not happening to them? Then, what's the show? We don't see it on the stream either. Yeah, that's true. What? I'm not seeing anybody die. You know, we all make our own choices. But in the end... We all chose to be here. Oh, I thought he was going to say it. In the end, our choices make us. Chose to be in that car. Say it. I can't imagine what it was like for the family. <laughs> I want so badly for him to say it. But I do know this. We have to find a way to keep keep ourselves from falling in that pit. You know? Another kiss? <laughs> Here and now, I don't think this is the right time. What if there was a kiss prompt at all times in the game? You could always take a moment, like, take a break from the action just to, for a quick smooch. Oh, shit. Wait. I think you made Gav do it. I don't know if this matters. I don't know why this is different. But if you had to choose... Toodles bitch smooched. <laughs> it's a term of endearment now. Alright, bro. Okay, you go. He's a terrible shot. So are you. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Circling around. Mark the area for sweep. Fuck, we missed. <laughs> it knew. It got the fuck out of Dodge. You can hardly blame it, can you? Is that it? They must be on to us now. Well, you fucked up, chat. We need to keep moving. And I bet the audience hated that too. Try to take away the only what little footage they what have. What does donkey, a honey badger, and a Catholic bishop have in common? <laughs> Stay here. I'll check it out. We never get to see Calvin. Why don't we ever get to see the scary guy fight? Why was he in the game? Why did they pay somebody <laughs> to come <laughs> into the game <laughs> and die without killing a single person? Okay. Don't worry, I'll just be a minute. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck! All right, I guess that's cool.
Where are the six bosses? I think that was one of them. Also, I'm pretty sure this is like concept art for Stalker. This doesn't look real. <laughs> Why is their corporation here? Why would they be on the what same island? Oh, what I'm the fuck? Right. What is this? I thought it was pretty fucking obvious. Drop your gun! What do you want, Dev? You don't need to do this. I told you before this all to be fucking set up. Shut up, gun! I've tried it so already. Too late for that, Mickey boy. Gav here's been spilling the beans. Just tell them what you told me. <laughs> <sighs> Gav. Enlighten us all. So you're saying this has all been staged, yeah? Told you you shouldn't have told him all that. Oh, fuck. I told you you shouldn't have told him. I'm sorry, Luke. It's him, isn't it? That's the puppet. What the hell is going on? Drop your gun, Nick. I only want to talk for now. Okay. I have a feeling something bad's about to happen. Yeah, Gav's the puppet. Absolutely, Gav is the puppet, right? No way he's not. Holy shit, Chad is bloodthirsty. Are you serious? You guys know Gav could die, right? You guys, he might just kill him instantly. Fuck Gav, I already got my kiss. I did forget Gav did have a very long monologue. You're right. Fuck you. Holy You're right. Nick. Last chance before lover boy here gets ventilated. Yeah, we've had it. <laughs> All right. One more chance. Are you sure you want Gav to die? Hmm? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure this means he's going to die. <laughs> and chat does not care. Okay. All right. You got it. <laughs> Show yourself. <gasps> Yo! You died! You lost the game! You lost the whole fucking thing! We're right rewinding all the way back to the back? We're done? Oh God, Tish Tasker is alive. Bitch. Looks like you pissed off the wrong senorita, Nick. Is this the end for our dynamic Wh duo? What's the see more or continue? What does that mean? These mean the same thing. What? Dude, I'm scared of clicking see more, and that means continue to play. It's continue, right? Okay. Are we good? What? Okay, you came quietly. I guess. I don't know what that means. This is so dumb. <laughs> you. What are you doing? Why don't you just kill us both and be done with it? What is that face? What is this fucking thing anyway? Can you hear me? Hello? Do you think, Seems uh, do you think if you pick Tish, then Gav is the other guy? One becoming to save you. Has to be, right? That's annoying. You know, they just swap spots. They've tried this before. To get a mole on the island. But this is the first time they succeed. Who would have thought the Mickey fucking Romeo would be a goddamn spy? Ha! He's genius. Little Mikey grows up to be James Bond. I 
almost feel bad stopping you. Almost. Excellent I dialogue. Really want to know who's costing them so much money. Me? I just don't want to have to deal with your bullshit no more. Why can't we just let everybody fight to the death like they're this supposed to? This dude is to? acting! Sure thing. And timing will fucking get started, cocksucker! Come a on! thespian! How much do you think they do these games for? Like 5k? It's gotta be. All they want is the names. They'll figure out the rest. You give that to them, and we can all walk out of here. All of us. Even your little buddy over there. The execs, Alan Core, told me you'd be saving them so much money, they'd sweeten the deal. Think about it. <laughs> We'd all walk out of here. Excellent character. Richard. You have my when word. you say think about it, you tap your Fuck, head. It's nothing. As if to suggest thinking about it. Fucking moron. So. Tish. How do we do this? Bro, Tish loves you because you flirted with her that one time. Tish loves you now. We're all corpses anyway. Oh, maybe so. She's gonna save you, bro. But we can make it slow. Because you gave her that really funny we'll icebreaker. You told her a really funny joke about polar bears, and now All she loves you. Just to protect some goddamn human rights activists. I mean, come on. <laughs> Smile. I mean, we'll get to you soon enough. You could have been a little bit more brutal than that, right? Take a finger. Okay. Just one. Fucking assholes! <laughs> Fucking assholes. Now there's an idea. Why don't we save that for round? Oh my god! Now fucking leave him alone! Alright, now you broke. Now you're breaking. You do love Gav, chat. You do love him. You thought you didn't. You tried to resist, but you do feel forgive. Ew! Just tell us who's behind the alliance. Well? Well? Will you save Gavin? <laughs> Well, <laughs> resist. Okay, dude, Chet really turned on Gavin. You guys turned on Gav mad quick. Who's Gav? People ignore. <laughs> I hope you could keep cutting off fingers and it keeps saying resist, you know, but you could do it you like kind of more than 10 times. You could make this all stop. <laughs> like this just keeps going until you give in, but you could cut off like 15 fingers. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Guys, you can't give in now, right? You have to hold. Otherwise, what were the two fingers for? It would be a waste to give in now. You've already ripped off two fingers. You gotta commit. Alright, we're going for three. Three champ. Three-ing. He's gonna run out of fingers. Yeah, he is. I'll find something else. Come on, Nick. <laughs> now he's just like he's a lobster now. No way it keeps going. No way this keeps going. <laughs> we gotta resist, Chet. We have to resist. Otherwise, what was it all for? No way he loses three fingers for nothing. We have to resist. Good call, everybody. You disappoint me. I got an achievement. I want you guys to see it. It says, 
Congratulations. You are a sadist. Congratulations, chat. You did this. You did this. <laughs> you let this happen. The game thinks I'm fucked up now. The game thinks I'm a piece of shit now. How does the audience think? Oh, the audience isn't turned on you quite yet. And you're still as romantic as ever. He still loves you. I think he understands. Thank you, boy. What should we do with this brick? Is he dead? He's dead. Hard to tell. Fuck it. No! No! What? It, I bet that would have happened I anyway. I would have held out that long and watched my friend go through all that. But then again, I have a heart. I bet that happened no matter what. You just allowed him to suffer before he died. Where are you going? That's I awful, Chip. Cool. Alright, Tish is gonna save us. Never mind, she's leaving. <laughs> People leave. Sit tight. I really thought she was gonna help us, but uh nope. She left immediately. Where the fuck have you been? And where's Kelvin? Oh, fuck you! Tell me about it. What, you find him? What's going on? Just wait here and make sure he don't go anywhere. Yeah. Right. I guess. Okay, we're definitely killing this guy now. New love interest. <laughs> How many people are left? Final contestants now. Where the hell are they? Why aren't you showing us? Yeah, where the hell is Nick? They don't want us to see what he's up to. It's all fake. There's like six oh, left, gosh. right? It's a bit far-fetched, isn't it? Oh no, my headset died. Huh. Wait. Even though the cloud wireless headset has amazing battery life, I left it on for too long. Because I was gaming too hard. Thank you, HyperX, for the free product. What the fuck? Oh, that was the wrong hole. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay. Don't escape. Guys, wait for Gavin. Gavin will come to save us. He's not dead. Just sit tight. You'll be fine. He's gonna come to help you, I promise. <laughs> Something's gotta happen, right? Yeah, there we go, he came back. Good. It's like Far Cry. Oh, you died. You should've tried to escape. The game ended, by the way. That's the end of the game. I got credits and I can't go back. That you... You you should have left. <laughs> Chat, you didn't do anything at all this entire game. You actually didn't do anything. You stayed behind trees. You held still... Look, I can't even... Dude, I can't... I just have a black screen! What a- Oh, here it is. 59 decisions- Can I- Wait, I have to new game? I can't go back? Are you serious? That's... That's insane. The game just ends? That's it? Yes, you 
There's no way back. That sucks. What a shitty game. What? What the fuck? Don't worry, chat. If you reach the sub goal, I will come rescue you. <laughs> We missed... How did that happen? We missed so much content. Fucking mosquitoes all night. Alright, this oh. is the bad ending. All the drama. What? Okay, this means you trust Otto. I always seem to think it was all... Forever. But only for the first one. And you no. like Trish? Oh but shit, he has Otto and his crew here. He was there. What? That guy just dies no matter what, I, I guess. I don't care about anyone's past. Uh, okay, now he has Tish. Beat him! What? Fuck you. Fuck this. Oh! What are you doing? We need him! Oh, she's still the puppet! She's still the bad guy! Okay. Dude. Oh, shit! Okay, we well, killed him. Jesus. Well, Ari's dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, if this is the bad ending, what ending did we get? We got the catastrophic ending. What'd you say? We can still get on the blur and get this all sorted. Okay. The decision's already been made. What? What chance do you think? What? What chance do you think you had, you fucking muppet? What? See, the decision's already been made. The deep fakes are out there. Yep. Oh, oh, they are the deep fakes. Already dead. Actual you deep fakes. Ah, uh, they used the term correctly the whole time. One survivor, anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh. fucking dead. More ups and downs. What are the odds? It doesn't have to end like this. There's a way out. We can both live through this. Maybe. There are no guarantees. Guys, I gotta be honest. What if we did take Alan Corp down? We didn't get to see any of this, and you guys are dog shit at video games. You can't ever come at me again. You can never make fun of me again for my choices. <laughs> you blew the whole thing. This right here is the ultimate prize, Nick. That's bullshit. You just don't get it, do you? You may have lost your fame, your fortune, your friend. But it's different for me. I never had any of that to begin with. I came here for my family, and now I can have it all. And to hell with everyone else? We can't change it, Nick. We gotta look out for ourselves. There's a better champion. way. We can put an end to all this bloodshed. You are better than this, Tish. You don't know me, who I am. You still have a choice. I never <laughs> had a choice, Nick. Your move. Put the gun down, Tish. Please. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Well. Surely you shoot Tish. Yup. Why is that the bad ending? You win! By the way, as soon as that came up, as soon as the choice came up, skip credits popped up. Instantly. 
the broadcast is out. You're dead anyway. <laughs> Whoa! Cool! That's it? Okay. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Full game walkthrough. No commentary. What did this guy get? Fucking dick. Oh, this guy got the same thing. Wait, he spared her. Oh my god, not this shit. He recorded the guys are streaming it right now. Oh my god, it's a fucking Disney Channel movie. It's a Disney Channel movie, dude. don't believe everything you see on TV, folks. Oh fuck. Higher viewing figures than the game by the looks of it. Oh my god. The bad guy's whole monologue got recorded. This game sucks. This is not going on YouTube. Hey, oh, he lived? Hey, what? Uh, wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Oh, I see. She tries to kill you. Bros before hoes, baby. Ari's always got your back. Thanks, Ari. That's our guy. Okay, so what now? Oh, guess we find a boat. <laughs> hey, you think the corp is still gonna try and kill us now the truth is out? Probably. All right, so that's the game. Wait, life or death decisions? Oh, it's a trailer. I thought it was all of them. Uh. This game sucks. That was really bad. Um. I, uh, you know, sometimes when you play FMV games, sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not. But, uh. It was only 107 minutes, so Drake's for that. <laughs> Phew. When are they ever good? They're good sometimes. I've played good FMV games. What do you mean? There's been a couple good ones. Right? Name three. Harvester? I liked Bad Mojo. Dude, I liked, um, I liked Night Switch. I unironically liked Night Switch. Phasmagoria 1 and 2. There's a couple really good ones. Hi, sweetie. What's this? Ooh, thank you. I appreciate it. How'd it go? Good. Cool. I love you. Everybody say hi, Mel. Do I stink? Can you smell me? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I know. What's wrong? What's, what do you mean, what's wrong? I just stink. I put on deodorant, but I think it wore off because I'm wearing a hoodie. Is it that bad? It's really bad. You should have seen the face she made. I, I'm gonna, I gotta change. It's bad. P. Yusa. Good one. Yeah, thank you. You do smell bad. I know. I love you. I'll freeze you. Okay, get, I get it. I was the one that said it. Okay, thank I mean, you. It's my manly musk. Ew. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, I'm smelly. I think I've been wearing this all day and it's been kind of hot, so I think I've been sweat champing. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah? Yeah, I'll get him. No, I didn't. I forgot. I'll take him tomorrow. 
Okay. You have a very tall wife. No, I don't. She's 5'7". <laughs> what do you mean? She was 5'7", and I'm 5'9". <laughs> Shut up. You guys are so annoying. She's a giant compared to you. I'm sitting down. I'm not currently standing up. <laughs> Leave me alone, bro. All right. I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for tuning in. You know what? Uh, I think that last one was uh, that one was a was was a tough sell. I don't think that one's going anywhere. That was a that was a shitty game. But the story is pretty good. Maybe that'll go on YouTube. Tomorrow we're gonna play Popeye if we can. And then uh, maybe do some Mario Partying champing. And then I kind of want to watch that Tear Zoo video. I haven't watched that yet. I was really tired tonight, so I didn't want to go too late. And already it's 11.30, so there you go. Enjoy the bonus stream. Go watch Lethero. Uh, I always... Lethero? Lethero? I always get it wrong, but I know it's Lee. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, goodbye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. <laughs> Lithero. No, it's not lie. He said, no, no, it's not lie because that's what I said. And then he said it was Lee. I had him on and he said it was Lee. Shut up. It's Lithero. I swear to fucking, whatever. Take this three minute ad. Bastards.